Let's try this again. JLJ this morning, <laughs> alive. I don't like this lighting or anything. Ooh, I don't feel like myself. But I'm here, you guys. Let's see, let's see who shows up. I'll set everything up like I normally do. And let's see who... My e my my uh my light my, my, oh, okay. my um my stuff is working better today. I will say. Good morning. All right. We have lots to talk about. Uh, yes, I'm trying to raise some money today. I haven't had a chance to make enough money yet. So I'm trying to get back to work. I'm still. You know, Recovering. Doing more stuff from my seat now. We're getting there. Let's see. There we go. Doing more stuff from my seat. Let's see if I shows up. Everybody comes on. Does anyone tell you anything? Because I did post a lot of stuff the last couple of days. So I posted a lot of pre recorded stuff that will be coming out. There we go. Let's see what happens. I have my applesauce. I have my hair looks crazy. My coffee. It's really bright here in Los Angeles. There's Mika. We got first person on here. I have not done a live show in over a week. Yeah, it was over a week. I came on the other day and nobody was here. I'm dealing with some allergy issues and still trying to get back to myself again. Has not been easy, but we're we're little by little by little by little. Trying. Some lotion on. I feel a little a little dry. How are you, me, Cobb? What are you up to this morning or this afternoon for you? Because it could be afternoon where you are. I have lots of new content out today. I have lots of new content out today. Uh, the Gerard Carmichael stuff, I have that out there. Extra Connections, I have that out there. Hi, Beauty for Ashes. Hello, everybody. I have that out there. Uh, in between the pages, I have that out today. Um, I, have some, I have more stuff coming uh, in the next week or so. Lots. Of, I've been doing a lot of sitting, so lots of interviews, lots of stuff. Well, I got to the garden. Um, and I've been kind of getting, I sat out there yesterday and it felt very nice. I mean, the weather is like perfect out here right now. Um, so I'm trying to do that. I got bit by something, you know, that's how it works. But we are, um, I am getting better and I'm doing what I can to get better. Uh, but I've missed you guys, obviously. I missed, I just had a chance, come on. I came on that one day, and my computer was acting up the whole, and just the whole day I was acting up. Working from home, that's a rain and wind. Do you like working from home, or do you not like working from home? Some folks don't like it. And some folks love it.
Tell me what's going on. Um, oh, while I'm waiting for your answer. Um, I'm also, um, I said comb this. You guys might have to buy some um, face cloths. All my face cloths are old. Just realize that. I need, I need some new ones. I was like, oh, that was an interesting um, revelation this morning. As the 99 cent stores are still crowded and being raided out here in California. Also, OJ died. Do we say rest in peace? Or do, <laughs> what do we say? What do we say to that? <laughs> Um, I had to chuckle on that one a little bit. And I give my two cents of the Gerard Carmichael stuff that he's into race play. That ain't good. Uh, that part, I'm like, oh, no, 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 we don't do, we don't do that. No, no, no. I saw a video of some race play. I saw the first 20 seconds of it and I was done already. Not much gets to me, but that I was like, yeah, that's that's not working for me. That was a black man, working for me. Where you from? I love him. Last thing I do is go to for my full time. Yeah, okay. If some people like it. Who don't? Bring him home is a mixed bag. So, I guess you have on nine one one and station nineteen. Okay. Well, your show nine one one got another season, so you'll see the I'll be, I'll be off another season. I guess the one guy is bisexual now or something, and people are up in arms. And he's he's coming. He's going to social. It's a lot going on right now. Like a lot of entertainment. There's a lot of entertainment going on. I can't keep up with all of it. I mean, I'm hearing bits and pieces, and I'm like something gay. I'm like, what was happening? Gay? What's bisexual? What's going on? I was like, I don't watch people. Like, well, James, what do you think? I don't watch that show, so I can't tell you what I think because I don't watch the show. Uh, Yeah, it makes no sense. But oh, you watch you watch the show, so yeah, you watch the show. Okay, but the actor spoke out, so I thought it was very cool. The actor was like, "Get over yourselves." He didn't care. He was just like, "Nobody cares anymore." Being for Ashley, everybody's just like, "Fuck you!" And I don't know, like, they don't care anymore. They're speaking up. But I saw I saw that you spoke up, and he was just like, "You could be mean or whatever, but this is this this is part of the, you know, it's it's whatever it is. Let it go." So. So for you, beautiful ashes, it's out of no, it's out, it's out of nowhere for his character. I, I don't watch the show. I don't watch the show, so I don't. I couldn't tell you. I, know I need to catch up on Will Trent. I need. I, I want to see the new season. I got finished the first season. I'm at season eight of the first season. So I don't. I know I got just a couple episodes to go. So I gotta. I gotta get there. I gotta. I don't. I've had no time to to do it. So I gotta do it. I don't watch the show, so I, I, have, to, I have to ask my mom too. Is what she thinks. Of the character, it's an out of. So I know there was one show I was watching. It made somebody a lesbian. All of a sudden, you're like, "What? Like, where did that come from?" I was like, "Nothing to do with the lesbian." But I'm just kind of like, "Where did that come from?" He said, "Yes, okay." Okay. And that and that actually is truthful. That part, that part is that's 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 legitimate. But even if it's like, like you said, if it makes no sense, then we make nasty comments. I mean, that's the whole point. Tony, all kind of stuff. Tony, Tony, there's so much to talk about. Tony. JC, are you in the race play, Tony? Like Jerry Carmichael? Do you understand that some guy became by on a show on nine one one? OJ Simpson died. Uh, well, there's all this. There's a lot to talk. There's a lot to talk about, Tony. JC, there's a lot to talk about. That's what we're talking about. I'm making Jason a sunny couple. I actually paid to see that beauty. 
I wanted Brooke and Taylor to be a couple. I seriously wanted them to scissor up. I was ready. I thought Brailer, I was in. I was in. I thought, why not? You know, go over there and, and a little smoochy woochy or whatever. I mean, I wouldn't hear for it. I know it caused a lot of feathers, but I don't care. I thought this is bold and beautiful. Mm hmm. And you know, Ridgera loved it. You were like, mm hmm. But there's a lot going on. Nine Night Scent stores, uh, everything. They're, try they're trying to save the ones in Southern California. That's it's so it's hilarious. I'm like, oh my god, they really they just they're doing the most. They are doing the most. Uh, so yeah, so we're just it's it's that's what we're, that's what we're talking about. Some all kind of stuff. There's you, you pick one, Tony JC. You pick pick a subject. We'll talk. I mean, it's all over the place. I've been on it so long. Take a nap. Well, Tony, take your nap. I know you, I know you got to take your nap when you can because I you know I understand that one completely. Um. I know. I I know you got to take a nap when you can. I'm here just talking. I'm be on here for a few hours talking to people. You know, I've been on here in a while. I was trying to raise some money. I'm I'm still I still can't work, so I'm trying to do what I can with all these interviews to generate money. So I have to. I still am at home recovering and getting out a little bit. And Nina and Drew, I I loved it. I I that's causing a stir. I I loved it. Well, the whole GH, people are upset about GH. They're all upset about GH. They're just like all over the place. They don't like nothing. I'm like, they're dressing Maxi better, thank God. Their stories are faster. I I, I mean, Carly and, and and Kate, sure, why not? I can go there for a minute. I have no, I mean, just people are upset about everything. I'm like, I don't know, I like the, I like Nina and Drew. Yeah. So anyway, I just, I just, everything, it's all over the place. There's lots to talk. There's lots to talk about. Lots to talk about out there. So yes, All right. So yes, if you need to take a nap, go take a nap or whatever. I'll be on here for a little while. I think. Let's see how my stamina is. I feel like I look like death warmed over. I do not look. I do not look my best, you guys. I am so sorry. You're getting James unplugged. I am not. I am not my best today. I washed my face and brushed my teeth, but I feel like this lighting is bad, and my hair is just not working today, and my face, I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm 1,000 years old. At least we have some more of this uh, applesauce. Oh, my yikes. Yikes a doodle. Yikes a doodle. All kind of stuff going on. All kind of stuff going on. So, yeah, so I don't know, kids. I'm going to try to hold on and, and see what's going on. But I am bringing back my today, um, Next Connections, I'm bringing back my race talk show. Um, and I got people I got people lined up. Oh, my gosh. I have four. I have five interviews lined up. I fall five, only five discussions. It's going to be good. And one of them is Soaps Kids. Donald Peebles Jr., who's been just like taking over my mantle on on Twitter X, he and I were talking about the black state of soaps on Saturday. I mean, people. I mean, it's gonna be who. He's been on there just like he's been a he's been Amanda Seals on Twitter about soaps. Yeah, they're doing it and doing it and doing it well and doing it and doing it and doing it well. And if Tony JC is still on here. I just inter interviewed somebody from the Bronx, in the Bronx, who's really cute. I think you'll like him. He's really cute. There's up. All kind of stuff. All kind of stuff. There's just stuff everywhere. Everything. And see, and I, I just got an email, and I knew this was going to happen. Okay. So the 99 cent stores are closing. So I told people, I was, my mother and I and a couple of us were talking. Everybody's running to 90 cent stores to grab everything to the store. And I said, and me and my, my girl Lori were talking, and we were like, that's fine. You go clean out the shelves, but then they have all that stuff in the warehouses. You have to bring to the front. They can even sell. I just got a, an email saying, now we got new merchandise from the warehouse. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. 
I said, that's, and that's, I said, yeah, go get the stuff that's, I, but you don't have to, they're going to they're gonna have to get rid of everything. So they're going to put all that stuff. So it's going to be restocked again. You guys run out there and grab all the stuff you can, but other stuff will come out. So I'm like, it's going to be a, it's going to be a several wave approach. But I just got an email just saying that. We have new stuff from the warehouse, like from the warehouse, of course. Mm hmm. Not surprised. So, but yes, there's a a lot going on. Uh, hello, some people who are watching. I guess I'm on a little early than normally. I mean, this is nine eleven. It's nine eleven. I usually on a little, a little slightly later. I feel out of the loop. I feel like I'm out of the loop. Because I usually talk to you guys almost every day, and I haven't talked to you guys every day. I feel completely out of the loop. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. What's happening? What's happening? I feel disconnected. So I'm trying to get back in the in the in the, the everything. See what's going on online. I see what's going on online, buddy. Guys, here while we're sitting here, you guys six watching. This crystal, I'm with crystal. Yes, uh, like I just said, I, I, I well, you, I guess you weren't on when I said it. I go, do we say rest in peace <laughs> to OJ? Or is that not what we say? Well, the thing about OJ is his trial, his whole thing changed the course of soap operas in daytime. Yeah, has had a lasting effect. Uh -huh. But he's gone. Now, he, now he's off the earth. Now, we all know he did it, right? He killed them two people. Right? We all know that, right? Because I get, back in the day, people, you know, I, I get why back in the day, people were, were, black folks were happy he got through. But we know he did it. I have to meet you in time, James. Remember, I work from home. I may miss what you say. I have to mute you in time, James. Remember, I work from home. I don't know what that means, but okay. Okay. Oh, oh I have to mute you, James. Remember, I'm, I'm, so you're working from home to mute me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not, yeah. If you have to mute me, you have to mute me, I guess. You have to miss what I say. That's why you have to answer what I say. Okay, yes. Okay. From home. I mean, I don't know what you do for a living, so I don't know what you do. Miss Crystal, how are you doing? What's going on? I'm waiting for comments. I I, 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 I said a bunch of stuff. I'm waiting for comments. That's why I'm going online to see what's going on online. Let's see what else I'm missing. My wheel did very well.
Well, I am hanging in there, Miss Crystal. Um, I'm not back to normal at all yet. I am getting there little by little. It's gonna take it's gonna take weeks for me to get back to any kind of stuff. I can't lift anything heavy. I still can't walk very far. I still can't do certain things. So I'm taking. I'm, I have to walk every day a little bit. And so I went out to the garden. Uh, Flubo and them took me out to to the uh, to the store. And actually, it's so funny. So well, if you're on my Patreon, you'll see the you'll see part of the video. Um, Flobo and our friend um, Ralph took me to the store, and they were total gentlemen, and I couldn't lift anything or bag anything, so they actually helped me out. And they, I, I got my groceries. They they pushed the cart for me, and and they brought the groceries in my house. It was very it was very sweet. I'm not used to having anybody help me out like that, uh, but I was very sweet. Had these two strong men take care of me. Uh, that day it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun i treated them to breakfast as one should um we all ate breakfast together it was fun i showed i showed we showed uh ralph our me and flubbo's um uh area where you could uh see the planes and that was very nice so i thought that was so that's so i, I went out my garden yesterday i have a little chair i sat outside and i was watering i sat outside I watered one side um because it's been war it's been perfect here in la it's in the 80s um, so I gotta water my plants. I gotta, I gotta continue that today at some point. So I'm still, but so I'm not. I'm not back to myself yet. Miss Crystal, it's crazy. Uh, you know, you know me. I'm ready to do twenty things. I'm ready. I'm ready to just like shoot out the gate. And it's Coach Chandra. Good morning. Yes, I happen to be. I'm on right now. The other day it was all a mess. Uh, I was on for like ten minutes and I couldn't see nothing. And nobody could see me. And nobody. Knew. I was. It was. It was the craziest thing. I want to go to the 99 cent store to see what's going on over there. <laughs> Dude, there is one near me. So I'm like, I kind of want to go to it and see what's going on. But I haven't yet. Just, just see all the, the crazy shopping in there, but I'm doing it yet. But yeah, I'm just trying to pull myself together. Little by little by little by little by little. Uh, so, uh, so that's how I'm doing. We're, we're, hanging, there. we're hanging in there. At the same time, I'm still trying to run my businesses, so I'll help my mom out from afar. My brother is taking over most of that. He's like, he's physically, he's been there helping her out. Um, I'm still there through the phone. I don't know. Well, see, I uploaded a lot of content the last couple of days, so I'm wondering, like, I said, Matt, if that's it. And I uploaded a lot of content that's coming out. You know, I have three videos. I have three new videos out today. So I have the Jared Carmichael stuff. I have the race talk stuff. And I have um, my book of the month, which is the Duran Duran biography, <laughs> which is really good, actually. So I have those three out today. Those are three new videos I have out today. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on, Matt. Maybe that could be it. Yes, I mentioned yes. Well, Tony, that's kind of... So that's, but it's telling, you see what I saw? I said in my video, I'm like, I had no interest in watching him either. I, 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 I the, 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 the reality show wasn't anything to me to cut my pearls at either. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just like, it's like, it's, he's, it's, it's his, it's his, it's his journey. So he's telling, he's telling his story. And, and I, and I'm like, okay. But everybody's up in arms over a couple of things, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to see just kind of what the ruhaha was. Now, race play. He tells it a joke, and it, yes, and all his men are white in the video in the show. I get and that's a, that's an age old that 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 goes with black straight men too. It's an old a rhyme as old as time. Beauty and the beast. Um, it's just it's that's a topic that could go on forever. Well, other than that, I'm like, like you know, it's like, eh, you know, I, I just he's he's a different generation than I am than us, Tony. He's younger than we are. I don't, I don't, I don't know. So I'm just not in there. Like YouTube, you have a notification? Of course not. There's a recent uh, why YouTube has a change. It was all GH. Everybody doesn't like it, Crystal. Apparently, P apparently, Crystal, you tell me. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying Jaros right now. I'm enjoying it. I love it. I think it's much better, but folks are you go you go online they all hate it. I don't. I'm like, 
All right, why is everybody hating on I, I think it's better. And it just started. Well, Crystal, you tell me, girl. I don't know. People are not. I'm, I, part of it, I feel like, you guys need to understand. Laura Wright, Reese Bernard, and Steve Burton are the top three on the show. No matter what you think or what you feel, they, they do have fans. They have lots of fans. It don't matter what you feel, what you think, but that's it. I haven't watched Tuesday and Wednesday yet, so I can't say anything yet. Um, no, I don't watch Tuesday, I haven't watched Wednesday yet. And I'm like, that's just, that's, I'm sorry, that's a deal. Sorry, kids. Don't try to be like that. Cynthia Watros, Cameron Madison, all them, they're on the show right now. That's what, that's who's on the show. I mean, you have to have some, I'm like, Drew and Nina having angry sex is soap opera. That's total soap opera. Like, everybody was complaining, like, things were like, there was a slow thing was happening. Well, now shit's happening. Having way too fast when it was coming. I'm glad it happened too fast, Angel. I mean, I'm not yelling at you, Angel, but I'm like, I'm glad it happened fast. This show was so slow. Oh my God, the pacing was like forever. Forever. The pacing was excruciating. There were times when nothing would happen. I'm glad shit's going fast. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Good, good, please. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. I am very, I am very, I'm glad. I am, I am happy. Oh, tell me, all these crystals, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. I'm already messing with you. Um, I'm, I'm just like, it's just for me, I, I am, it's like, it's, it's, nothing's perfect. They have to work some kinks out. They got to close some other stuff up. I mean, they say, you know, they do is, they hide George Blackman. They have to work it out. I just think, here's the thing with everything from the Amanda Seal stuff to Gerard Carmichael stuff to the, to the, we just everything that's going on. To everything that's going on, people run to social media first and just talk. They run their mouths. What they do first. They just say the first thing in their mind, and that's it. And that becomes a thread. And Chandra's saying something that's very true. If they'd be complaining about Susan Lucci, they'd be complaining about David Canary, they would be complaining about anybody. Just it's just it's one of those things. I just think it's. Now we have social media full swing and and just anything. One person can say one thing and that will set everything off. That's it. And it can be blown up into something really big. So then it becomes this huge thing. And there are people who jump on just they just bandwagon on the stuff. And then like Tony, you know, Tony, I'm on your you know I'm like, I'm with you on that one, Tony. You know I'm with you on that one completely. Um, but I'm saying that that's the whole that's the whole thing. That just people just pile on. I've been piled on, not in a good way. Um, I've been piled on. I know what it feels like to have people who I thought were my friends online, online friends, who just start started because they want clicks and because they want stuff. Then they all of a sudden jump in and go. Yeah, that James, you know, he's one of my mutuals, but yeah, what he did was horrible. I agree with you. And they're getting clicks and hits and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, so it's just kind of like, there you have it. And now when it comes to jokes, when it comes to jokes, that's you're a comedian. That's your job. You tell jokes, you tell stuff. Sometimes it's from real life, whatever. But you know when you tell a certain joke, the reaction you're going to get. So that's why I give Dave Chappelle some credit because he knew when he told these jokes kind of what the reaction would be. And he stood by his jokes. Joan Rivers the same way. She stood by her jokes. There are certain things just like, yes, okay, got it. Gerard Carmichael, you you in the race play or whatever? That, that You like some white boys? That's your business, fine. Not everybody's going to like that joke. And so you see, stand by it. So we have a, so we have a right to, of course, say how we feel about it. But like, okay, 
this guy becomes a gay, this guy becomes a gay, he becomes bi on a TV show. And you're like, and so there are folks who don't even watch 911. I don't watch 911. So I'm hearing about this and I'm seeing his reaction. The guy is cute. I don't know who he is, but the guy is cute. He plays him. And he's defending his character as a real life actor. And I'm just like, okay, but folks are jumping on him. Who don't even watch the show? It's like it's just like they just they're just jumping on. So we have we have all of that too. So we have to kind of I so I always kind of go, there's we just run our mouths. Everybody just runs their mouths. And I, you know, and I always know whatever I say, whatever I say out here or out there in the world, but on my shows, I stand by everything I say. Um, sometimes you have to speak out, I think. That's that's just me. But I would never tell somebody else you speak out. Tony Moore and I both are black. We call each other chocolate twins. You're gonna like. There are things that Tony talks about with me privately that he doesn't talk about in public. He has a different type of persona, and he there's certain things he just doesn't do. I disrupt. I talk about it. I talk about race and ageism and sexism and homophobia. I talk about all. I talk about all of that. So I'm just like so for me. I, that's how what I do, but I would never tell Tony how to do his how to be black on television. Walker, you guys know my friend Walker is very much like me. We tell you Shane Liddell. That's what we do. So there's everybody has their choices on how they do stuff. The guy, and you guys are on one. Well, I'm hearing that it came out of nowhere that he's bisexual. So I don't know, but the guy was so passionate he plays him. I was like, good for you for standing up for standing up. For your for your character, you know. So Crystal's on. Makes no sense. Dean and you really Kevin and Lauren like that are off. Really, <laughs> yeah, really, Crystal. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck not, Crystal? Come on, girl. I like Dean and Drew. It doesn't make any sense. You're abs you're absolutely correct, Crystal Hopkins. It makes no sense, and I love it. It's soapy goodness. It's messy. Soap should be messy. We're getting. I, I love it. I just. I, I'm sorry, you guys. I, you will not get a response from me that's not like that. I think. I think. Why? Why not? The show's been so boring for years. Boring. Boring. We're, we've been on here talking about how boring it fucking was. I'm happy. Shit. The whole Heather. Ailey Mills did a great job as Heather. Yeah, it's crazy to try to get her off. They've done worse on these shows. Why not? I'm for it. And if guy is bisexual and I want one, but I don't if Jerry Carmichael's in the race play, then you do your race play. That's not me. I'm not, I ain't doing that. You call me the N-word while we're having sex, and, it's, and I'm going to punch you out. So that's not going to happen. And then, you know, come on, everybody, everybody has their thing. I mean, you know, and and and, and back to Amanda, she, she feels that she used her platform to speak. And I feel the same way. I use my platform to speak. So we all, but we also know we're going to get, we know we're going to get stuff if we say certain things. Wayne Brady was on The View this morning. He said he was pansexual. Yeah, he's pansexual. Uh, well, no, I think those, here's the thing about those coach. Here's the thing about, about Wayne Brady. Apparently that was a well-known secret, open secret. So I remember when it first came out like a couple of years ago, people were like, and? Like, so there was, there was no, there was no chatter about it. I thought it was so hilarious. If there's chatter this morning, it'll be really interesting. But last time it came out, no one said anything. It was like, oh, okay. I was like, it's like now it's like, wait, Brady's pansexual. What happened? What he did? What? And he's been with women and men. And I'm like, everybody's like, yeah, James. And they're all they're all shutting me down. Like, oh, okay. I was like, well, there, there you go, kids. So I don't, you know, I don't know. So I was just like, yes. Well, Twitter's like I go. I've been going because I've been having to lay around a lot. I had to. I've met you know. I met Wayne Brady because I did the uh, Let's Make a Deal, and he was very nice. He's my age. He's like, he's like my age, and we had a great we had a great time together between takes and stuff. He was really fun. He wasn't he wasn't hitting on me or anything like that. But we had a great time. You don't want my fat ass. But we were but we were just having a good time, and so I I like Wayne Brady. I think he's I think he's super talented. He should be way bigger than he is. He's big enough, but he should be bigger. 
Uh, so I followed him. And so I said, so, so it, 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 came, it came out. I, I didn't know it was open secret either. And I was like, what? He's what? Blah, 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 blah. Um, so that's what happened. But Twitter recently, I've been going on Twitter just to read the comments, and it's been it's cuckoo crazy for cocoa bubs. It's cuckoo. It's cuckoo. And I've been kind of enjoying it because I'm not I don't really join in. I just I just like read because I'm on there for when calls the hearts. I'm on there for General Hospital. I'm on there for Bold. I'm just I'm just seeing stuff. I mean, the black folks and Star Wars, and I'm just like, wow, wow. It's a big old slice. He's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's funny. It's always funny. I'm just like kids. I'm laying up in bed at home, just like trying to hold on. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't even I don't even know anymore. It just I'm just I'm just trying to hold on, kids. Just trying to hold on. I'm sorry, I do. The guy from I like the, the guy from Nine One is all that. Go on, George. I don't watch the show. I saw a picture of. I saw him talking. I'm like, oh, he's cute. I I just you know I'm sorry, folks. I, I like my I like my brown bed. I'm just into them mostly. But he was cute. I was like, okay, it was fine, whatever. But I thought I just liked his defense. Billy D. Williams, who also came out as uh, sexually fluid, remember that? And I was like, what? Well, we got sexually fluid. Saying blackface should be okay. <laughs> I didn't know he said that. This is the phone. So Angel is the first time hearing of that. So I don't even know what to say to that. I mean, I've seen, you know, have you guys seen Birth of a Nation? Have you seen all Al Josen videos? Have you seen a Miss and Ann? Like, blackface is horrible. It's not even just about the putting the black on the face, it's what it all entails. It's the portrayals. It's like it's it's the Thing, how they're talking and this the this, this stereotype that's so heavy that's it's so offensive the black face the, the the paint on your face is just one thing it's like you almost if they didn't do all the other stuff you'd almost go okay whatever but it's really Chandra with the Billy D big eyes I'm like I mean Billy D and Chandra you know this and anybody in here knows this Crystal you guys all know this he was the black leading man he was the man, the man. I mean, women were creaming in their panties for him. And men wanted to be like him. He was smooth as silk. Don't just smooth taste fool you. He was it. And the fact that now he's saying, I guess he said all this stuff, he's getting old. And I'm like, okay, I don't know. I know it wasn't, I don't know if it was Oprah or was it, I think it's Ruby Goldberg you know, who, can, who collects the mammies. I, I forgot who collects mammies. Um, and has her in her house as, and, and she explained it's almost like a taking back the nights, like a reminder of our past. Um, and I'm just like, I don't want to see that either. I don't want to see tar babies and shit. I'm sorry. That stuff doesn't, I don't want to see that. But he's training for his NFL days. I just, I didn't, I didn't know that. Showed up to the edge. <laughs> he was, he was the man. So it's Whoopi. Okay. I'll make sure I get it correctly. You know, I love Whoopi. I don't agree with everything she says, but I love Whoopi and I've met Whoopi. Um, I love her. But I was like, for me, I don't, I mean, but I get what she's saying on some level, but just, I don't want that shit in my house. To me, it's like bad juju. I don't want that shit in my house. I, don't, I, have, I have no thanks. I'm good. I can remember what that shit that looks like. I don't need that in my house. But I know for her being dark skinned, it's it's like taking back the night thing, so to speak, and kind of claiming it. I, lawn jockeys. When I first went to the Midwest, I was like, lawn jockeys? What the fuck? And I see things out there in front of people's houses. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, what? I wanted to rip out every lawn jockey in Ohio as I could in Western Ohio. I was like, I just want to just go by and get a truck so my cousins get a truck and just start collecting them. I'd be in jail, obviously, um, or killed if I wanted to. But I was just like, I could, I, I see them and it makes me cringe. We have a few out here. I saw one recently, like some over here in Inglewood. I'm like, who brought a lawn jockey to Inglewood? But I think I don't think folks in LA know what that means. They don't, they don't know what that is. I never saw them really. I'm telling you, kids, there's a lot going on right now. There is a lot going on, and it's it just it's just it's all swirling around. It is. I tell you, now that I'm you know home and I'm like not running the streets like I normally do and stuff. I'm seeing every. I'm seeing all this stuff, and it, apparently I'm missing shit too. I didn't know. I didn't know what that was going on, and that was going on, and now I, you know, I don't
There's a law jockey coming from your house. Yep, Jack, that's right. See, your mom knows. Your mom knows. Your mom knows, right? She knows. The Romeo and Juliet drama is so tied up. It's just quick back to casting. So I don't even know about what's going on with Romeo and Juliet. I don't, I don't even I don't even know. Somebody fill me in. I don't I don't what's going on there now. Uh please don't do it, Jamie. <laughs> I know. I wouldn't do well in, in, in prison. I heard a little about that, Matt. So I don't you fill me in, folks. Tell me. I don't know what's going on, Romeo and Juliet. Tell me what's going on. What people are upset about something. They they said, is it black and white casting? Are they mad? Is it Asian and white? Are they, are they mad? I'm telling you, I'm like, oh my God. It's just, it is, it is a trip out there. It's, right now, it's a trip out there. I mean, no, I'm like, is anybody just not happy? Oh, Juliet's a, oh, she's dark girl. Oh, she is a dark skinned black woman as Juliet, interessante, as we say in Spanish. Well, of course, they're going to lose their minds. Oh my God, they couldn't handle Holly Berry being a um, little mermaid, and she had red, and put, just put red hair on her. She's a mermaid. Oh my God, they did. Oh, they did. Okay. See, folks, if you really think about it, Romeo and Juliet, they should be kids from op really opposite families. That would make sense. A dark-skinned black woman and a white guy or whatever, that would actually make sense. Miss Lucy, yes. Francesca, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, Rivers, Castilian. Okay, I, I have to, I'll take a look. Well, now that you mentioned it, I'll probably... Tom Holland is Romeo. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay. We know Tom Holland don't mind black. <laughs> um, that's interesting. Okay, it's like okay. I, I I have nothing to say about any of that, but I'm just I just think it's just it's again outrage, of course, outrage. But I would think that's an ultimate story, interracial and all that. That's an ultimate thing. But see, there's also kids, kids out there. There is a little interracial backlash happening too. And I understand it a little bit because in all the advertising and everything, they've kind of gone so far over now to the interracial side. People are like, where are the, where are the same race couples now? Like you still do a black couple, Latino couple, Asian couple. Now it's gone, the pendulum street's gone so far over, which to me, that's what happens in, in the entertainment. It always goes, it always goes. You know, yeah, uh, and it's, it's all the time. So, Cherie, I get that all the time. I get Neil deGrasse Tyson all on TikTok. I get it all the time. I'd love to meet him. I have never met. Him. I'd love to meet him. I get that all the time. It's not. It's not. It's not a first. Not a first at all. I get it all the time. Um. Right. Exactly, Chandra. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Crystal, so here's what, so Crystal, I'm glad you asked that. So um, here's the deal. Good luck on your interview, Sherry. Hope you get it. So I have all of Walking Dead with Daryl Dixon series, the six episodes. And I have all of Walking Dead with Rick and Michonne. My brother loved the Rick and Michonne series. He said, he didn't tell me, you know, I said, don't spoil it. He loved the ending, everything. everything. So I decided, Crystal, I'm going to watch, I started watching the Daryl Dixon first, the um, first episode. I'm going to watch the Rick Michonne first episode and then decide which one hooks me hooks me more. And then I'll go that direction. So now you saw, I'm almost there, Crystal. I'm getting there. I've been, I've been, I, this, I, I, I've been in pain, so I sleep a lot. I've been sleeping a lot because I'm in pain. And so I just, I just, I'm not back to, I'm not back to normal at all, Crystal, so. This is all smoke and mirrors, basically. But yes, but yes, uh, Crystal, I'll let you know when I start to I start to watch. But my brother said he didn't care for the Daryl Dixon one, but he did like the Rick and Michonne one. So I'm gonna I told him that you watched him. So I gotta so I'm getting there, girl. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But yes, Sherry, have a have a good meeting. You'll be fine. Eight dollars more an hour is great. You're fine. I know some folks just like it's everything interracial now at this point, so it's like it's too like they went too far over it. And obviously, I wouldn't be here if it was interracial. My kids, the grandkids, would be interracial. So I, I mean, I'm not against it at all. Obviously, 
Um, but I'm just saying that I understand some of the like just now now let's just have the the balance and just have a little bit of everybody. Just make it just make it normalized. Just that anybody can can do can be in these commercial stuff. So but I don't I don't I want my dark sisters to get more work shit. It's like they're not getting as much work as they could be. And I don't and I don't understand because it's like it's just because it's just um I gotta take a picture of something real quick, sorry. Okay, so I had to take a picture of something. Um I don't I just it's yeah. It's just, I mean, come on, folks. It's like it's it's a co the coloring of somebody should not matter, but also sometimes the coloring is well, most of the time it is, but coloring contrast is beautiful. When you put two together, you see a different contrast. It can make for more drama. It can make for more just gorgeous beauty for story. I'm like, why? Like, anyway, it's a, it's a. I just, I, yeah. I'm over it. I'm over it. Beauty comes in all shades and races and colors and sizes and shades. It just it all comes everywhere. I'm just I'm tired of this Hollywood ideal of what they think is beautiful. Some people that we're all buying into. We can't be buying into it. We have to let it go. We have to let it go. So oh, also, I'm very happy. Um, so I am. I have an. I have an interview out with Colleen Zink. Of course, I had her. So folks had her for 25 minutes, almost 30, and we pushed it because I only had her for 20 minutes. There was not. It wasn't anything against me. And she was filming that day, um, and so I. I, could, I wish I could talk to her. We, I love. We fell in love with each other. I love her. Uh, she was everything I needed. I was able to get out. I did. I clipped out a snippet of the. It's. April is Oral Cancer Awareness Month. She survived oral cancer um, with the Oral Cancer Foundation. They retweeted my video, our video, and we gave lots of attention for oral cancer. So I'm just going to say it out loud. Thank you for folks who are pressing it out there. Um, oral cancer is one of the cancers out there that's getting people. So I'm happy that we were able to do that. I, I love when I can do it. I can do a, a, a video or an interview and also inform and help the same time. It makes me, it just makes me happy all the way around. Colleen is a bomb. Colleen is a bomb. Colleen is a bomb. Uh, yeah, you know, thank you. I, you know, I, so Sandra, what is, so Sa coach, I'll say coach, can't get my, my words together today. So I was perusing the interwebs and so some of my topics for daytime today come straight out of that. So I feel like if I have something to say, I'll say it there. It was kind of like, it's, it's, I had to do it daytime. And I saw this back and forth and all around about that. And I, and I, but I said, but I, I, I want to recognize, and I, I got a lot of positive feedback from it. So thank you, everybody. I mean, I got a lot of big, I got big numbers for that video too. So I understand the screen of folks because they just want their, it's, it's, it's not, they want their couple. They got. They feel they're cheated from their couple. They want their couple. But uh, however, comma, we don't see very many young. We don't. There's no young black couple on any soap opera. Like it's just kind of. It's just. They're just not waiting on one. And why not? Why can't we have one? I don't understand what the problem is. Um, but having one. So I mean, so I'm glad you enjoyed that. It was fine. Um, and that's and Tony. That I love. I love what you just wrote. We all know Jason and Carly are in game at some point. But putting them together right away is not good soap opera. John and Carly, I'm with you, Tony JC, completely. There is chemistry there. There is chemistry there. Why not explore it for a little bit? Why not? You're like, oh my God. I'm like, well, why not? Let them, I mean, it's a soap opera. And then something, and then you have a triangle, maybe. And Jason and 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 John are fighting over. I mean, that's what soap operas are. <laughs> like, 
I feel like I should come on and do a course on soap opera 101 sometimes with people. And so are people just so instant gratification? I'm done with the, the tropes. They just they just want I just what I want, that's it. Well, soap opera's models used to be to never give you exactly what you want. And then at some point, give you what you want as a reward for, you know, for all the other stuff. I mean, that's the whole point. So what Jason, Tony, Tony Jay-Z just wrote exactly is what I'm, I like that. He's like, I'm open to this other thing. It's fine. Exactly. The show was having problems. The show was having problems. Coach, you're correct. I've been screaming from the rooftops. How the show is having problems. Oh, side note, I think Shonda didn't uh, 10 4 GH um, celebrate five years together. Matt and Kat this last weekend. I can't remember. I mean, I've been out of it. Um, I want to give a shout out to them if they had. I think it was. I think they had their their anniversary or something. But they were first. They were because and not five years on on YouTube, but they were five years together. I think. I give a shout out. I was I, I listened to GH Sunday Shift and she has me busting up all the time over there. Her comments, oh man, I'll be busting up. That's the point. I said, okay, very good. It feels like they were put together. I should go before you put. That's the angel. That's my point. That's my point. Why can't Why can't Trina have a black friend? What's wrong with that? And what if it's male? Okay. And then you have a try. They bring Spencer back. You have a trying a little bit or something. Just again, you can always, you can always. I mean, we need. Um, like I said, my whole thing was, I want Trina to have a full experience. I want her to have, I want her to be able to experience what other soap characters experience. Equal opportunity. That's and that's all. That's all I'm asking for. for. And you got and you guys, if you're if you're a Trina fan, you you should want that also. And there are things that happen on soaps you're supposed to be upset about and feel bad about and be angry about. That's what that's what soaps are supposed, they're supposed to elicit emotion out of you if they do it right. Take your time, do it right. We can do it, baby. Do it tonight. My voice isn't in yet. <clears throat> it's a little scratchy still. But that's the point. That's the point. And I was scared to, but nowadays, and not just soaps, when it calls the heart, like Star Wars, it's like, come on, the one show everybody's loving right now, the one show everybody's loving right now, I don't even watch it, is by Frank Moran's X Men 97. I'm so happy for him. That's getting critical acclaim. People are loving it. I'm so, I talked to Frank this morning. I'm so happy for him that the show's doing very well. So I'll get points for that. Uh, back to that. Um, Right, coach. Right. Right. Are there any other black men in PCU? Have Trina have a life outside her man? A man should play a role in her life. I agree. Jason and John fight the same woman again. Crystal, that's what they do on soap opera. That's what they do on soap opera. That's just that's just that's what they do. That's part of soaps. That's the ironic part. All these years later. They're fighting over a, a same woman. It's a different woman. So how do they handle it? So Chris, I think of it this way. How do they handle it this time? Will it just be boys always being boys and go back to something tired where they just fight and fight and fight? Or will it be more mature? Or will it become something different? Like, that's the point. Carly is not Karen. They're not in high school. So this is a whole... So like, why not? <laughs> yeah, like, why not? I I don't I guess I, I guess maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I just maybe I'm easy like Sunday morning. As I just I I'm like sure I'll take it. I love it. I'll take it. I just I'll take it. I'm like I want soap opera. I want soapy messy soap opera. That's what I want. I want I want to be I want to run home. Well, run home, and and seize and and be excited. And yes, Crystal, like roll our eyes, go, oh, here they go again. Or this way, but in a good way, go, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Get busy. Boom, boom, boom until new, new, new. Tina Lord. I know what well, all these shows have. Brooke, everybody, all forward, they all fight the same men. 
that's what they do. I feel like GH got sanitized. It's like it needs to be messier. Messier, Crystal. Messier. I want messy. <laughs> I do. I want messy. I don't want I don't want to sanitize like the hospital. I want messy. I'm ready. So I've been on almost an hour. Hi, you guys. I just want to say hello. I have, let's see. <coughs> I haven't watched Wednesday yet. No, I haven't watched Wednesday yet. I'll watch that today. I haven't watched that today. I haven't watched it yet. I wish you knew how your cat was. Oops. I have nine likes and 18 people, 19 people watching. Hello, 19 people who are watching. Hello, everybody. It is a month from my birthday. My birthday is in a month. You know what the fuck I'm going to do? Um, right now I'm here. I'm talking to you guys. Um, I'm all, you know, of course I can't work fully because I'm still getting, getting re recovery. And if you can give any donations today, I will gladly accept it and pay a couple of bills. Um, you know, it's PayPal, Zelle, Cash App, Venmo, any amount, I, any amount would be wonderful if you can give. If you can't give, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That also helps me in the long run and watch my stuff. Go around and watch my videos. That all generates also um, dollars and cents. So if you can't you can't do a monetary donation, go there and do watch a video of mine, and that will generate that also generate money. Someone asked me that the other day. I'm like that, that that's true. The more the more view and watch hours I get, I get I collect money. So that that for that too, and I get I get paid on the twenty first on that. So anyway, so thank you very much for that. I don't want top chat. I want all chat. I haven't even thought about that. My mother asked me the same question. I'm not, again, I'm not fully James Law Jr. yet, so I have not even decided. But tr the tree is off right now. Um, it's a dead zone at the moment. Um, I have, I, I'm thinking my birthday, I might do a birthday tree. Um, I, but I haven't really fully totally thought about it because I'm still trying to recover. I don't, even know, I don't even know what I'm doing for my birthday. I had an idea, but now my stomach issue is not the same. I don't. I don't know if that's, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, and yes, all my audio dramas are getting a big boost. Apparently, they're all people are listening to all of them. And I, I'm so happy. I have eight. I have 18 audio dramas, four in production right now. They come out later this year. So please, 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 um, go take a take a look and listen. And when you listen to those, it generates money. Also, I can't see what you're saying, Shana, because of this stupid hearts in the way. It says, have you heard about the, and I can't see the rest of it. God bless America. That's where somebody answers so I can see what you're saying. <laughs> the heart's placed in the weirdest spots. Like, how can I, I can't read certain sentences. And literally, the heart's covering exactly what you said, the, the, the name of the place you're, you're asking me about. And I can't see it. But just, just know that monetizing videos, monetizing content... You don't get paid a lot of money. You have to have lots of views. Uh, no matter where you play, place anything, you still have to get lots of type. There you go. Fan base platform. I haven't heard about it, but I'm not uploading, I'm not uploading my videos somewhere else. I don't have any manpower. They, there you go, girl. I don't have any manpower to do all that stuff. Right now, my videos are on YouTube. That's it. I'm, uh, I'm not even trying. I mean, and again, it's not going to... It's I. You have you still have to have people who actually watch your stuff. That's kind of the bottom line. You can be I have a Patreon all stuff. Not everybody's on there, so you, you can you can have all these platforms, but you still need people to actually watch and listen to your stuff. So I don't know how. I mean, I, don't know. I, mean, I said I have I play I place my links to videos on every platform you can think of. There's like twenty platforms I place my links to. But it depends if no one clicks that link, or only if you, I mean, it's, it's still somebody has to click that link. So that's how I kind of feel about that. So I'm like, I, at this point, I'm like, what, I just, whatever. Um, birthday had a cupcake. My birthday falls on a Friday, actually. What's getting important kind of GG? So I don't put my, see, on IG, I just do reels. I don't post my shows on there. So I make, I make money off my reels. I mean, like on TikTok, I mean, I'm making money. I'm monetized everywhere, but it's not. It's just not a, a lot. I just I get little bits and pieces here and there. I'm monetized on Facebook. I'm monetized on Instagram. I'm monetized on 
Yeah, I don't know. So I mean, I'll look into it, but I'm just like it's. I don't these all these 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 other places like I'm on I'm on all these other other social media platforms that nothing's happening to them. There's nothing. There's I'm not getting anything out of them. I can barely get things out of here. Like shit. So I mean, I'll look I'll look into it, but I just I don't. You know, I like black owned. You know, I do like that. That that that's the thing I like. Um, but I don't I don't know. I'm just like. Like my escorts, yes, my JLJ Patreon. I can't, I can't, I can't get people to do my Patreon. I have the same thirty-one people. I can't get anybody to do my Patreon. I post that shit every day. So I don't know how to get people to. I don't, I don't know what it's. And I'm not the only person having this issue. I mean, all content creators are going through this right now. Unless you are fam super famous, and you're scandalous, or you have some kind of angle that just people are like, we're all, we're all going through. I trust me. Behind the scenes, I'm talking to everybody. So it's not just me. Well, I'm, I'm, no woe is James, not just me. It's everybody, and apparently, a lot of them. I'm doing better than they are. And if I if I'm doing better than they are, then there's something wrong. Because I'm like, I was going on there, but yeah, my birthday falls on a Friday, and um, I might be out with my parents. My my parents. I have parents. My mom and my aunt. They want they want to do something for me on my birthday. So they will take me out to lunch, I think. So I I may come on in the morning before I go to lunch. And try to come on that day somehow. I don't. I'm just. I'm just you know, I I really haven't. I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with stomach and all that issues right now. I'm dealing with all that right now. But it's literally. It's literally a month. It's May 10th. My birthday is May 10th. It's. It's like. It's. I don't know what's going on. My life. It's just whatever. Do you think there will ever be? Uh, Girl, I'm Crystal, your guess is as good as mine. I'll never say never because you just you never know. I've seen shows with different couples, but I. A lot of people are skating platforms, but it's to their websites. That's true, too, Chandra. That's happening. Well, there's also people who are just saying because, okay, it's like this is a good conversation, actually. Sorry, if I'm just going to get a soapbox for a second. Um, we're at the mercy of these social media platforms, YouTube, TikTok, all that stuff. So I, I've been shadow banned on TikTok for like a year. So I'm only getting a certain amount of views now. They're, they're not letting me have anything bigger. I don't know why. I don't know what I did, but they're just, I'm not. So even though I have a huge following on TikTok, not everybody's seeing my work. So it's, 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 it's screwing. YouTube, yes, you, as we know, does all kind of shit on here too. Instagram. So you're right. There are a lot of folks who are doing just their websites. Or they're doing also um, joining other platforms that like locals. Excuse me, there's another one too where they're just doing it where it's less restrictive. And but but you have to but again, you have to go and still pay. And a lot of them are subscription based. You have to pay for them. They're not getting to you for free. They're still posting on regular sites, but you have to if you want to see the rest of it or a part two. Come to my my. So it's almost the same as Patreon. It's like say it's the same thing as that's why you have Patreon and buy me a coffee. All these sites, these sites, yeah, they you're there's just more freedom, but it's still you have to get people over there, and that can be the hard part. Folks want free shit. That's that's just the nature of the beast. Folks want things for free. That's just it. Very few will pay for something. They may love you and think you're the greatest and all this stuff, but they will not pay for it. They want, if they can't get it, then their minds will get it. They want free. So, yeah, so people, yeah, people are doing, they're posting, but some of them are still, they're, they're every day going, please go to my website, please go to my website, please go to this. Please. It's, it's, you'll just make money automatically. People, people are just like, they're like, come on, but they like that they have their own agency and control over stuff so i understand that i mean i have a website and stuff i post things on there but i'm like it's you now i have i have a i have a new blog out and i keep telling people sign up for my blog sign, and no one's signing up for it i have five subscribers i post every day on there i post it everywhere no one's, no one's signing up for it it's like people and it's and it's free i'm like all you gotta do is just like subscribe to it i don't know what i don't know what else to do I'm not a hot um, 
young buffed out white guy. I'm not. Uh, I'm not even a hot young buffed out black guy. I'm not showing my body. I'm not. It is. A, there's a lot of things. I'm not. I'm not. I, that I won't. I won't get sixty thousand followers. Sixty thousand followers. I actually want to have to work. What I'm doing right now, every day, posting content, trying to give you good stuff, trying to say it's just. It is. It is just. It's. They. They do. They. They just do. They do. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those. It's. It's a. I said I talked to so many content creators where all behind the scenes we're talking to each other, and it's a, and it's a, and it's an issue. We're all trying to make money, and they're saying I'm doing better than they are. I'm like, wow, if I'm doing. I mean, you're not. I mean, they're like you're doing way better than I. I mean, it's crazy. Some folks have huge followings, but no one they don't pay for any of their paid stuff. It's it's just it's just it's 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 tiring. It's discouraging. It's upsetting. It makes people sad, makes me sad sometimes. Cause I know that I put out good work. I put out quality work in everything that I do. I know I have I, I have I'm very I I'm at very I mean this thing over here. I mean I put out so much content. Everybody knows I put out more content than anybody else. And I'm not bigger or where I than I could be. No. And in some industries, I am considered an expert. And I have a I've been asked by Real Simple. To write an article, which I just did. I sent that in. I was in apartment therapy last week. So I mean, in certain circles, I'm a big name. But that's in this industry. But getting people, regular folks out there to go, I'm gonna I'll pay a dollar a month for James to see stuff, or I'll do this. I'm like, that's like pulling that's like herding cats. Now you know you can't herd cats. Because cats do whatever they want. They go everywhere what they want. But everybody's on there from Amanda Seals to the basement yards, everybody, we're all out there going, please, our content. Please. I mean, everyone is promoting their I mean, I've been looking around YouTube and going around and stuff. And e I mean, everybody is like promoting it, just pushing their their wares to everybody. Um, and all that stuff. It's just it's it's crazy. It's crazy, it's, it's crazy. It's out, it's out there. You know, ex exactly. Exactly. Where are the other 4.1K folks? Exactly. I mean, some of my videos reflect it. I might get 5,000 views, 4,000 views, 1,000 views. Some of my videos, yeah, that, that part works. But in these chats, I only have 20 people. And I love you guys. You're, you're, my, you're, my, you're my core 20, so I love it. I mean, we have a great time. And but I have friends who can't even get 20 people to watch live. So if I'm getting 20 people and they're, they're getting five, or three, and this, this is for free. I mean, just just come on and watch. This is for free. It doesn't matter what day and time it is. Because I I've done videos at night, lives, and the weekends, and matter. But I'm getting the same 20, 30 people, and my friends are like getting five people. That's it. And their and their content's actually pretty good, and they promoted it. It's that eternal question. It's it's really that eternal question. But I'm telling you, all of my friends from Tony Moore to Flo, everybody. We're all talking about it behind the scenes. Everybody, even bigger names, and I, I can tell. I'm not going to say the names, but there are names that I talk to all the time. And there's like, how can I get folks to my this? How can I get people over here? How can I get something? Like, I'm like, kids. People will tell you they go, well, do this, you'll get more people. That's not. That's not necessary. I mean, it, it's all. It's all scam. I think it's all scams. It's all luck. And if people have to choose that you are worth their time and people have to choose that they want to follow you for whatever reason, if they think you're good looking, they're going to follow you. They think you're super smart. They may follow. Like it depends on what it is, whatever it is, insert thing here. That's when they'll follow you. Yeah. It's happening everywhere. It is. It's happening. It's happening everywhere. And that's what I'm saying. It's just like, we're all, I just know we're all, we're all trying to, we're all, we're all struggling content creators. I don't know who you are, Chris, but I'm sure. I, I, I'm saying that he is, I'm saying that he is like the rest of us. We're all trying to make, we're all, yeah, we're all trying to make it. We're all, we all want to do this. I do this full time as my job. So luckily I can do that, but other people don't get to do They have other jobs. Most of my, my colleagues have other jobs. They can't do this full time. And I'm Bagels and Ice Box. I know it's funny. Yeah, I tried chasing that bread and refrigerator. It didn't work. 
didn't work. Again, I'm shadow banned, so I'm not gonna, it's not going to work. Uh, but I did try to chase it later, and then you, you, know, you can never chase a viral video. I actually, I write, I write a book about that. You can never chase a viral video. Um, I said it's just one of those things. I mean, you just, you know, I, I tried. Well, and, that, and that's, and, you know, Tony, and that's fine. I think it's fine. I mean, follow whoever you want. But that's, I'm just saying that that's just the, that's just the deal. That's just, that is, that is the deal. Is that if you don't show a little skin, if that's male or female, if you don't show a little skin, have a great body, but you can also be a bear guy or a big BBW woman. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm saying that people will follow certain things automatically, and which is fine. But but then there's the rest of us who don't do that. I don't show skin. I don't show my body parts. I don't do that stuff. So it's like, well, then how can I get people to like my content without having to do that? It's like we've 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 devolved into this society where everybody is half naked online, whether it's it's like uh, workouts. Or OnlyFans, or whatever. It's all, that, it's all that stuff. You show everybody showing skin. Like, well, what happens to just being an, a, a, an entrepreneur has good content and you follow them because you like that you like all their stuff. They they talk to celebrities and they. It's like that's just nope, not that does not it does not happen. It is very different out there now. It's very different out there, and so it's and I I stay in it because I love doing this. That's why I stay in it. I love it. Um, I like I like seeing like I said. I'll take 20 people. I'll talk to you guys. We have a good, good time. Oops. And that's what's so actually what's funny is Blow Up Voice is calling me. <laughs> He's actually calling me right now. But I'm on live. I'm on with you guys. So you have to go to voicemail. He may come on here next. You may realize I'm I'm online. You may realize I'm online. Um, but I mean you follow whoever you want. I mean that's I mean, that, that's that's the nature of beast. But I'm just saying, those folks, a lot of those folks have high followers and low engagement. You look at them, you go, how they got 100,000 followers, only 20, the same 20 people are commenting. There's something about that also. And some of them do buy, and some of them do buy followers. There's that thing. I'm, I refuse to buy followers and do all that. I refuse, and there's Flobo. I tell you the same, but there's Flobo. Uh, there he is. Um, but that's just, it's just, you just, some people buy followers. Yeah, I know. I'm, as you see, I'm on here. I'm here. Um, and, uh, and I'm, I'm on a soapbox right now, Flobo, about everything. Um, and, um, it just, that's what it is. It's like getting people to follow you if you don't show skin and are not in the gym for five times a day and all that stuff. It's, it's hard sometimes. It, it's really hard. So, there's, I mean, people will offer you, go here, you'll make money. Go here, you'll make money. That's not guaranteed. No, that stuff's guaranteed. Everyone is competing for attention and eyeballs. People are busy. I only so excited about online players. Those who choose to get their time on trade. True. Okay. That's a that's a true statement. I don't know. Um, okay. But, however, so I guess I'm, I'm trying to think. So you, so you say, you're saying an obvious statement. So I'm trying to think, what can I, what can I say to that? Um, but people are very, people know what they're doing though. They're not too busy. So I'm going to defy that statement. I'm going to, I'm actually going to just, just defy that statement. They're not too busy. Not, not everybody's busy. There are people who follow a lot of content creators. They follow the ones they want. And you're right. They choose the ones they, but it's not because they're busy. They choose the ones they want to because that's certain ones they want to. They, again, find them attractive or really like what they're talking about, or, you know, it depends. I just, I just think that it's, 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 it's also, I mean, yes, it's all selective. I mean, it's all true. And, and you're right there. And I always say it all the time there. You have a lot of choices. You don't have to be here with me right now. You could be somewhere else. You don't, you, I mean, just, you don't have to be here. So I appreciate every person who watches my stuff. I always thank people all the time because I know you have a lot of choices. Um, a lot of folks like my commentary on things, so they watch for that. And then others, you know, they just, you know, but I, but I think there are a lot of people, they, they, they know what they're doing. People scroll all the time. People are on their phones all the time, whether they're at work or at home. So there's there's time to follow more than certain people. There's time. Oh, for the world's going on. Everything in the world's going on, from Gerard Carmichael liking race play, 
to um, Amanda Seals, to Romeo and Juliet casting, to OJ dying, to uh, General Hostel and the Flo and the, and the Hardys, to interracial relationships, to we were talking about it, and talking about how to make money as a content creator and how everybody's trying to make money. A lot going on. A lot going on. We're, 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 this conversation is all over the place, this, and as, as usual, in this chat this morning. But I've been on a soapbox all morning because I'm just like, this is, a t this is a subject I know. Like, I, I get it. Yes, you have people who do food stuff. And then here's the thing. So they go, well, James, you should do more food reviews. So I do some. Nothing happens. You can't chase people's stuff. It has to be authentic and natural. It has to be authentic and natural. So there's a couple of food people that I don't like their stuff. I think it's fake and phony, and they're not good. I have a food guy I watch, and that's it. I have one that I watch, and that's it. The rest I don't like. And I have another guy who does drink stuff. He's like, he's struggling, and he's actually really good. And he's good looking and everything, but he can't seem to get an audience that will, will get there. So I don't know. It's crazy. I may see chance. So, I, so yes, there are people who have lost subscribers. You watch my hot eye candy friends as Flavo, of course. I'm glad you like the comic, Crystal. I'm glad I was able to pass it on to you. I know, but he, uh, yes, it, it is. When he was, yeah, when he was, I tell you, he's really good. Yeah, he's really good. Hi, Terrence Matthews. Well, it could be still teasing him and Jordan. I can try to tell people we need messy. Messy. Drew and Nina sleep together. I think it's a one-time deal. And then him and Jordan get together. She finds out about it. It's messy. We're soap operas. We need messy. That's what soap operas are all about. Messy. So that's what that's what I'm waiting. That's what I'm I'm excited. Yes. After the rain washes away the tears and all the pain. After the rain. It's tough starting a YouTube YouTube channels, but I think it's easy. I'm gonna get hundred thousand but that and that's very true. Um Starting a new YouTube channel, I still say if you have an idea you want to start one, start one. And you, but you have to; it's, it may take it may take a while for you to grow. But and yes, but there's yes, there's it's we're it's overrun. It's I mean, there's everyone's doing it. Everyone's doing it. So that's very that part is very it's very true. Some folks want instant gratification. I've coached people through this. They're like, why haven't I got you know a thousand followers in uh, in thirty days? And I'm like, that doesn't always happen that way, and you know, and it's it's you know, anyway. Everybody wants to be, everybody wants to be monetized, of course. Um, it's just it's it's not, it's not easy. Being a content creator is not easy. So it's it's it takes a lot of luck and work and placement, and sometimes the actual content itself. Which that's not even guaranteed either. Um, I have been the most surprised by which of my content gets popular. I'm trying to think of the word I'm trying to use. There have been times when I put stuff out, I'm like, this is gonna be huge. You know, this is gonna be big, it's gonna be big, and it doesn't do anything. And I put something else out and it's huge. Like, Matt? Like what? Like what? Like that? I'm like, okay. So you just never know. You can't always get. You're not guaranteed the hits on what you think might happen. So that's that's very true. Also, so I, I've had this YouTube channel for over twelve years, and for many years I didn't even really use it. So most of my stuff is from recent last few years, from the pandemic. The pandemic's when I really started to really sink my teeth in here, uh, and I know I got a lot of followers because everyone was at home 
So again, it was like timing and luck. I just it just happened with timing. Everyone was at home. They're all looking for content. They all found me. And I came from a channel. So a lot of those viewers came and followed me over from Afterbus TV. So I'm like, that so that's what I and then I had I, I was doing shows five days a week, all day, seven days a week, all the time. I was doing shows every day. So again, it was like putting in the work. And then people started going. It's part of I think I always say one of the things that is kind of true, consistency is everything. And it's kind of like you want it, you want to create a habit for somebody. Oh, James is on in the mornings. Okay, around this time. Let me see if he's on. Like that's the whole point. And I well, before my my stuff that was going on, I was on almost every morning. You know, on Sundays, we started the Sunday soap Sunday almost 10 years ago. And we got people to watch us on Sundays. We have to after Buzz TV. Our shows are on Sundays. They tuned in. Then we all went, then after after Buzz TV went out of business, we all went on our own. So we just kind of said we were I remember talking to Tony. We're like, I guess Sunday's still the best day. So we'll so we'll just keep, you know, and we got it. Yeah, there was a yeah, there was a lady at the, the, the who the fuck did I marry? That was her series. Um you know that it's it's uh, and now she's gotten she had she had a gimmick that worked and she got very popular. Does being a content creator feel like a part time job for you? Sometimes I heard creators say that before, because you gotta be on content. Uh, not a part time; it's a full time job. That's all I do. But content, I mean, that's that's a lot. Okay, so I'm also okay. So I'm a, a certified life coach, professional organizer. That's one company, and then I'm a media person, a second company. So I do them both at the same time. They're both full time jobs. I, I guess the best way to put that. They're both full time jobs. They're not nothing I do is part time. Nothing I do is part time. Everything I do is full time. That's the best way to put that. So no, it does not feel like a part time job to me. It's a full time. It's a full time job. Because whether I'm set booking interviews, going to locations, I'm also an, I'm also an author, recording artist. You know, I do I do all kinds of stuff. Uh, I write audio dramas. I'm a producer, producer, director. So I do a lot of stuff. So no, this is all full time for me. I do not have an office job or anything. I don't have a job with the company. I am the boss, and I have two companies. So for like 15 years, I've been doing this. So it's for me. No, it's a full. It's all full time. All full time. Uh, I've been on for 83 minutes. Oh, someone asked for my um my website. Okay, there you go. Now, now I can put I can put links in here. So there's a link to my website. And then I'll put a link to my blog. My I'll do my latest blog. So you guys can see my latest blog. My latest blog is about one of my albums. It's the fourth anniversary of my fifth album that I put out, uh, Safety in Numbers. So I actually talk about it. I actually share some stuff that I've never shared before. Um, so, and a link to listen to it. So I'll do that also. There's that. You guys just reminded me, I need to share this somewhere else too. Let's see if this works. So now I'm sharing. Okay. Okay. All right, so I just shared it there.
and tell you how to subscribe because people subscribe to it. Well, I'll look at it later. I can look at it right now to tell you how to do it. I'll have to look at it later because there's because people are just there's five have five subscribers, so they subscribe to it somehow. And I can't. And right now, I'm not going to try to figure that out right now while I'm online. Once I figure it out, or if you figure it out, then I'll, I'll let everybody know. Because I have five subscribers; they're all new. I didn't. They, they all they're all new. So somebody's subscribing somehow. So I don't. I don't. I can't look at it right now to try to do it. Can't do. I can't do two things at once. This does me too much. Um, but at least you see. At least you see the blog. So I have a blog. But I also gave you my channel, so I don't know. You can look at that. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'll look at it. I gotta see I yeah, I gotta look and see. I don't I don't know. Anywho, so yeah, so that's the uh that's that at least. One one watching and how many likes do I got? Lunch will be ready. I'll be on the background. She's ready. Eat that lunch. What's this? So I have fourteen. So I have fourteen likes and twenty-one watching. Thank you. Um, how do I feel about the Meryl's place? Oh, that, that's right. It's also Meryl's place. Um, shocked. I had no clue they were doing this. I never heard anything. I mean, like this came out of left field. A Meryl's place reboot. Um. I don't know how I feel yet because I don't know any more. I don't know anything more about it. I just know that three people. I love. I love Laura Layton, but they killed off Sydney in the last reboot. Um, I don't know. I am. I really know. I'm just. I. I love Meryl's Place. That's one of my shows. I liked the last reboot. That was on for one season. So I'm. I'm excited to see what. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see what happens. I don't. I just. I'm just in shock. I forgot about that. Meryl's Place also. Came out with something. That's what coming out. I'm like, I mean, I'm sure there are newer ideas out there from new writers. And they're just not. I don't know. But I, uh, uh, but Rose Place is something I liked. So I'll take it. But, but yeah, but that just happened last night. So yeah, I don't have any, I don't know. I'm just like in shock. The you know, officers are in shock. Like, what? To me, it's like the gates. Um, that new stuff is coming out and Boulevard and all that stuff. These are these are news, and I don't know how I'm like, I don't know much more. So I'm just gonna I'm just excited. On some level, but I don't know anything. But I forgot about that. I'm gonna get something to drink, get some water. Oi. Okay. Get some drink. Get some drink. There you go. I've been on for an hour and a half. That's a long time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.
make sure you are are uh, like the, the like what's going on here. I've been on I've been on it a long time, so I'm trying to get back to regular schedule. Um, when I feel better, so it's been it's been very much just how I feel when I feel. Unfortunately, until I get better. I have to answer a text really quick. Let me answer this text. So I just answered a text. I have an eye doctor appointment tomorrow, so I'm going to that. Let me get some new glasses. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what's going to happen on this one. Uh, how they're going to do this? Um, it's a great concept, so I can see it. I mean, it could it could translate, but we'll see. Let's we'll see what they decide to do. But um, there's a lot going on in Hollywood right now. Everybody, there's, so there's a buzz here that is happening. I can see. I feel it. Um, there's a there's a buzz here that people are because last year we had we we had the pandemic. The last year we had the strikes. This this town was dead. This you guys don't even understand. It was dead. Like there's just like there was just no no excitement. Everybody was fighting. They were trying to navigate things, and it was just it wasn't. Now there's a a, a buzz that's returning. People are I got projects going, and I got I'm invited to a lot of stuff. And there's a lot of things going on. A lot of filming's happening. All kind of stuff. All kind of goodies are happening. So it's it's starting it's starting to happen. Again. So what's next, kids? God, we talked about all kinds of stuff this morning. Like, what's I mean, we talked about we, we covered a lot of stuff. So what's going on next, folks? What else is going on out there? We haven't we haven't talked about. I'm very scared for the gates. I already time stamped it of uh, a couple weeks ago because how online is <laughs> there's so much expectation. Talk about buzz and expectation. That is the main thing. And it's kind of fun. It was the first day or so was kind of fun. We all found out. I thought, this is cool. We're all kind of united on this like. Yeah, it's a new soap opera, and it's going to be interracial, and it's going to be all this stuff. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. Fans are fickle. They will turn in a second. This show has a lot riding on it, because folks are putting the expectation, like, so-and-so should be on the show, and you got to get this person and that person. I'm For me, it's like, as long as the story is good, I don't care if you're black, white, purple, yellow, I just I want a good story. I want good soapy stories. If you can get me hooked, like any like any TV show, get me hooked. Then I let's, let's start with that. It all starts on the page. But folks, I we talk about that. They're not even talking about the stories. They're like the actors. They're talking about the skin color. It's about they're so focused on all the other stuff that I'm like, um, 
you should be focusing on if the writing's going to be good. And so here's the deal, kids. I'm scared. There's like it's like a meteorite situation because no no show can no show can. This show has to be extraordinary, or else it's going to be ripped to shreds in the in, the, in online. I'm I'm count, I'm calling it now. I am calling it now. If it, is, if it doesn't meet a certain criteria, folks are going to tear it apart. They are. I don't think, I'm sorry, Chandra, you are very optimistic. I don't think the Gates is making any impact on any other soaps. I don't. I don't, I don't see it happening right now, clearly, as announced. I don't think the other soaps give a shit. What the Gates is doing because they've been on for a long time, so they're like they probably think they know what they're doing. So who cares about this new upstart? It may not even last. I don't even give a shit about these. I don't think they get it at all. And most of them are male run shows. Men, we don't think that way. We don't think that way. We don't. We think we're already doing a good job. So. This, good luck to the gates. Hopefully you'll make it. I think that's the attitude, probably. I don't know for sure, because I don't know. I don't know for sure. But I'm saying I'm saying I don't that's it. It'd be great if they did all kind of step up and get their game a little bit. I don't think they they don't care about that. I know, I know, right. Exactly, Shadra. And Tyler Perry. But here, here Shadra, here's the thing about Tyler Perry. He has created his own world that's working for him. I understand that actually. I can understand that. I admire him for that. He is creating his own world. There is an audience that likes it. If no one was watching it, he would be doing it. There's an audience that likes it. And he's employing black folks. So I'll always give us props for those things. But like you, I don't watch any of your stuff. I don't watch this stuff. But I appreciate that he's like, I'm doing my own thing. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what I want to do. That's material I want to put out. Byron Allen has his thing. He's put out his material the way he was put. I, I admire folks who are just kind of creating their little pockets. So we need more of us who have our creations out there so then maybe more variety would happen. So you wouldn't have just Tyler Perry. Or you wouldn't have just so and so. I mean I, that you would you would have you would have a bunch of people out there doing stuff. And I know content creators who I wish they had a larger platform. They don't. And they probably would be great some, some stuff you might enjoy. My girl, Allison Kraus, Allison Kraus, Allison Faust, she's black and she's on the, she's on, she's created stuff for Bounce TV. No one watched it. She's been on the, the on the, uh, the neighborhood, which is a hit, but it's like, she's creating stuff and, oh no, I mean, Sean, I'm totally with you. I criticize all the other stuff. However, comma, I give those points at the same time, saying they're employed, he has a huge studio, and I said, but people are liking your stuff. There's an audience for it. But the kids are talk. <laughs> they go tell exactly right. Yeah, here, I said, yeah, I'm like, I'm trying. To, I'm, I mean, I'm on your. I'm on your. I, I agree with you. I'm on your side completely. I'm like, I'm like, I don't watch the stuff. Quality sucks. However, comma. You know how two things can be true at the same time, right? And that's that's with him. He has that dichotomy. Two things can be true at the same time. But see, I don't watch anything on BET Plus or on TV One. I mean, there's a lot of things I don't watch. So I'm like, I don't, I don't watch a lot of black programming. That's just me. I don't, I don't, none of that, none of it appeals to me. So I just, I don't, they don't speak to me. All the all the uh, power series, I watched off and on the first the main power. It was pretty good, but I'm not watching. There's like five spinoffs. I don't watch that stuff. I have friends on All American. I don't watch that either, but it's a, it's a show that's been off like five six years. So I'm like, there is choice out there. There is, but folks gravitate to certain things. Tyler Perry's a name, his name, and he's worked hard for that name. And there you go, kids. I mean, that's that's how that's how it works. But the gates, I'm just telling you, I I'm already scared. 
I want it to be good. I want to have. I want to have a hook, good hook. I want to go in there. I'm, I'm afraid that the fans are going to ruin it. I hope not. I hope, hope I'm completely wrong. I tried too, girl. I couldn't do it either. I tried. I tried. I tried a couple of seasons. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Oh, the haves and have-nots. Couldn't do it. I tried. And it's not my. I watched my girl Tosha story on the Oval a couple of times. I chuckled, but again, I couldn't get into it. It's not. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. Uh, but there are choices out there, folks. There are choices. There's all kind of programming out there. Nowadays, there's more programming. It's more and more. But, you know, the gates, back to the gates, I'm just like, I want it to be good. Michelle Valjean is a genius, a legend. I hope I hope it's successful. I do. I don't. I used to meet up. I used to watch good competitions. When my grand Susie was alive, we used to watch uh, Top Chef. And chopped and all those. After she died, I lost. I lost interest, and so I haven't. I haven't watched. I haven't, she died about seven years ago. I haven't watched a cooking show competition in seven years. But I used to. I don't watch HGTV anymore. I don't watch Food Network or Cook. I don't watch any of that stuff anymore. A lot of that is staged, anyway. So I found that out later. Um, but I just. But a lot of it's all fake. But I used to watch all that stuff. You know, you know, uh, all, all those things. I don't watch it anymore. But I know part of it's because it's connected to my grandmother, and I I miss her death. Um, I miss her, and so I guess that's part of it. I just don't watch anyone. But I used to. I used to watch that stuff. They're they're harmless. They're harmless fun. I guess nothing wrong with that stuff. I think those channels are you can learn stuff, and it's harmless fun. I just watch Hell's Kitchen and all that stuff, you know. But I don't watch that stuff anymore. I don't. Not my, not my thing. I don't watch. I watch. I don't watch really any reality television, hardly any. I used to be a huge reality person. I feel like I grew out of it because I know I work in a business now. It's not reality. I mean, it's all produced and it may not be scripted, but it's produced. And so I just know too much. I know too much. It's like I know how the sausage is made. So I was like, that's kind of like, oh well. I guess I just now I know. I know it sucks because you like you're like you want to you want to give it you know. It's due. I'm like, but I know, how, I know, I know stuff now. It's not fair. A lot. I can't watch a lot of shows because I know how it's made. I can't listen to a lot of podcasts. I know how they're made. You know, it's like I just, I just, I, I have a different ear now than I did before. Interviewers, same thing. I can't watch all interviewers and hosts. So I'm always like, I'm like, that's already wrong. That's wrong. You're talking too much. You have. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but you know. And see, and there you go. So that, that's and see, that's, that's another thing too that Tony brings up that's very valid. I mentioned the whole paying. Well, a lot of these shows aren't on regular networks. They're not, um, and you do have to pay extra. And the streaming platforms are getting more and more expensive. He's he's actually right about that completely. So, but a lot of these black networks, like Bounce, all them, they have to pay for them. Because they're not, because they're not, because they're not being offered on the major networks. That's a problem too. And after a while, five dollars here, eleven dollars there, ten dollars. It does add up. Yes, it adds up.
Yeah, it can be expensive. Adding them all up, cable is expensive, and I'm I got to talk to my brother because I don't really need cable for all the stuff that I that I have. I don't need it, and so it's and I'm paying for it. It's free because he doesn't have. I give him some of my subscription service. I guess I got to talk to him about that and say my my cable is like two hundred dollars a month. That's ridiculous. It's an expense I don't need. I really don't need my internet separate and all that separate. So I'm like I don't really need it, and so. Um, Everything else, I mean, I get on even the Hulu and all that. I read, I read, almost paid, but then I was like, but then I'm also if I add those all up, if I don't get cable, they're all about the same price. My account right now is negative three dollars. I just checked it; it's negative three dollars. So that's how that's how that's how my life works right now. It is negative three dollars and twenty four cents, basically twenty four cents. They just could my uh, something I just something just went through. I, I think it's I think it was my Hulu Disney thing or my Paramount Plus thing. I mean, I have every streaming service just about because I need them for my work. I cut out a couple because so I'm like, I don't do anymore. And luckily with HBO, I used to, I, I was like, I should have to pay for HBO Max because I have HBO and my DirecTV is giving me attitude about that. So I just went to HBO Demand. That's how I watched Jared Carmichael. And that's what the HBO Demand and started watching it. I like there's other ways they have, they have on demand as part of my package, but that's just that's just it's a lot it's a lot. That part I get is it is a lot these days, and everybody's going up in price. They're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct about that. They are going up in price, and they have no shame. And they they have this. Well, we have to we have to do this. We have to do that. And this is why we're going up. And they don't they don't care about you. And see, it's it's also this, it's also. It also, right? Yeah, I can write. Yeah, I can write them off. Wait, wait. But here's but this whole thing is that it's just, it's still an expense. It still, it still doesn't add up. In the end, it doesn't add up. I'm paying too much money out for what I for what I can write. It's, it's still not. It's still not. It's still not enough. I don't want to pay for cable anymore. Um, I just got to talk to the homeboy up front and. We'll say, well, that's what's happening. So some of those things are switching over. Some of them are getting deals with other streaming services. Tony's talking about some of them are getting are being are moving over. Um, Cobra Kai now is on Netflix. It's like certain certain ones that are moving over now to um some of the other services, some of the smaller ones. So that's good. I don't know the Johnson. Um, my my girl, her show was Act Your Age. It was on Bounce. Uh, and I love Allison. That's my girl. I've known her for years. Um, and that was her show. And nobody watched it. I got one season. And that was it. But she's so talented. It's like, but she was also on the, on the neighborhood, which is on CBS. And they were just getting another season, actually. They get sixth season over there. So yeah, it's it's expensive. Let's stream over and kill myself as well. But it says Mary Kay. Well, there you go. Everybody has to find their side hustles when they have them. It's another reason why I can't kill like it's like a watch. That's the thing, and that's the other thing too. Depending on where you live, just to get the regular, like when I was in Pittsburgh, just to get the regular. I had an antenna on mine too in Pittsburgh for the regular stations, so I could see them clearly. I know exactly what I. That's exactly. I know exactly what you. And I had to get cable at my Pittsburgh house, and that was like, and it did a, it made it made a world of difference. But it was like, oh my god. 
Johnson for a black man with the same last name. I never, I've never seen it. There's so many shows I've never heard before in my entire life. Never heard before in my entire life. And that's what it is. You're spending money on things you don't have time to watch. That's what it is. There are folks who do Avon and folks who do Avon, and they grew up together. Okay, I listen. Never heard. Never heard. I mean, there's. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not a far fetch. I've never heard of. It. I mean, there's a lot of shows I've never heard of. There's just so many shows out there. I. I mean, I love hearing about new shows. I love it. I love hearing about. It. I just love that. There's so many shows out there that I have no clue about. I love when I find out about one. So I'll look it up. I'll look it up. It's called Johnson. Okay. I'll look it up. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Here for my life. I love it. That's the thing. You just, you just, I just, there's so many shows. There's so many shows out there. So many. I just got a press release about a show called My Sisters and Me. Don't even didn't know that was a show either. Oh, I, I, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. But that's like my stuff. We all, again, every content creator has stuff. Everybody has shows and videos and stuff. And I'm finding stuff out every day. I'm finding new stuff every day. It's crazy. Yeah, Avon's there. My mother on, I know the others. My mother had an Avon rep. Her name was Michelle. She passed away a couple of years ago. We love Michelle. Uh, now it's her Avon person. And we got we got beautiful stuff for my granddaughter um, when she was a kid, like cute jewelry that's not crazy or anything. And um, skin so soft, no skin so soft. I mean, all, all the kind of stuff. Yeah, we like, we like, we like Avon and her family. Those catalogs, we laugh. Um, yep, we did. They did, I did, they did it. It's still, it's still around. Yeah. Ten forty eight miles. I've been on for almost two hours. That this goes by fast. This goes by fast. I love it. Have done this in a long time. And then let's talk go outside. Were they really? I didn't know that. I should react. I can read that loud. Avon was selling ramen noodles during the pandemic. Did not know that. Uh, like I said I watched the first, I watched off and on the original Power series, but I haven't watched any of them. There's like five spinoffs, Tony. Like five. And I haven't watched any of them. I don't have stars anymore either. I met 50 Cent once, actually. He was very nice. Um I have no feeling for or against 50 Cent. So but it's, ironically, I've been in a movie with Vivica Fox and I've met 50 Cent. I've done. I've. I know both. Well, I think Vicky was great. She was great. She was super nice. They both were nice to me, so I have nothing bad to say. But either, it's like fifties music. But yeah, I don't have stars. The stars plus same or either. I don't have stuff anymore. Mm.
That's what it is. It's like we are. We're, we're hanging out together, folks. Drinking coffee, yeah, exactly. I had my coffee earlier, my Taurus cup, my coffee. That's how I should. I would say I like I like my morning show probably the best because it's like I'm waking up, you're waking up, we just have we're talking the news of the day. It's the first thing coming out. Uh, I know after I get off of here, I will go outside for a minute and like just soak in the sun for a little bit, sit outside for a little bit for the sun. Um, that's my plan. Yes, I I uh, I know. Okay, yeah, good. Okay, um, glad you brought it up. Okay, the zooms and the soap shows. Um, I'm not ready this weekend. I thought I'd be ready by this weekend. I'm not. Um, they will come back. Obviously, <laughs> they're going to come back. I thank everybody for their patience. They will come back. I just um, I'm not ready yet. For either, but they both will come back. And just stay tuned. You follow me, you'll find out when. Uh, but I appreciate everybody um, being patient. Just not, just not. So I tried to use a little video stuff, but I know our Zooms, they're private. We have a good time on there. Um, I, I do miss them. I miss them completely. Um, but I also have the stamina yet. So once I get the stamina again, then I will be back. And save the soaps. I know you guys are missing the soaps. But I'll continue to put out some soap content for you when I can. Interviews. I have, I have some interviews coming up, stuff like that. I can I can do a 20 minute interview, 30 minute interview, uh, post it and do that. So I'm I'm I am working on that. Trust me. But I, I miss I miss them too. I miss them also. Uh, I was like, why would you do this? I was I just and so what's what is happening for me, which has happened to me last year, happened to me the year I had Bell's palsy. What has what has happened to me? Is that I've had to learn to be in the moment. That's the that's the thing. We have I've had to learn. I have to be in the moment. That you can't. Sometimes you, you just you can't. You know you have to just go. We have to, I have to go with the flow. Um, because I'm very like sub. You know, I go do this thing and do this and do this and I'm ready to come back. It's like nope. You got to do what you got. Sometimes you got to. Way life dictates something different, um, you know, and so it's 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 that's, that's why I didn't tell people the day I had my procedure. I didn't tell people that. I said the time period. Um, I didn't say what it was at first or anything because I was like, it was just all it was all just kind of like I need things to be a little private. And I just I will come out when I come out. So it, so it came out, and so yeah. So I as I said, I've been on in a week live. So it's 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 I'm back. Uh, Root comes in, coming in hard with the O.J. Simpson death. Um, I'm not surprised, and it's it's one of those things. Um, cl uh, yes, clearly he was a troubled man. Yes, okay, I guess we could say that. Um, <laughs> I have no sympathy for him. I have no sympathy for O.J. I think he got away with murder. And that just, and that's just, it's just one of those things. It's, we know he did it. I think we all know he did it at this point. And it was his actions afterwards and how he acted from that time on. And it's one of those, it's, it's kind of complex and kind of not. Um, the situation is complex in terms of race relations in Los Angeles. I was there. I totally get why folks felt like it was a win that he got off. 
so soon after Rodney King stuff that happened. So I get that complex situation. But I fully believe he killed those two people and got away with it. And I don't, I didn't see any remorse out of him in public. I mean, if he did privately, I don't know. But I just, ugh, I, I just, you know, it's, you know, and for, well, for Kate and Jenner, that was their friends who got killed. That's, that's the thing, too. We have to, we have to remember that these were two people, two living, breathing people, no matter what, who they, I mean, they, whatever, what went on with them. That to some people, that was their son, their brother, their friend. Um, so to me, it's a, it's a I would never, well, no, I, that's a lie. There are a few people I dance on their graves, but I would never openly say, you know, I'm glad OJ's dead. Good for him. I mean, I, I just would never, I would never do that. But I, but I have no sympathy for him. I guess that's the best way to put it. So if folks are celebrating his death. Good for them. I don't. I. I don't. I'm not surprised. Uh, but for anybody who's personally connected to that situation, um, if someone had killed my father or son or mother, I'd probably be happy also. I don't know. I've never been put in that position, so I don't know. I don't have no idea. OJ did not go away quietly. That's what it was. OJ craved the spotlight. His career was ruined. And so he sees, I'm going to find a way. And he, he wrote that book, If I Did It. That is one of the most rudest things, to the, one of the rudest things to do, I think, out there. Um, so, sorry, Rook, you're not going to get any sympathy in this, in this chat for him. I just think it's, but I wouldn't, I'm not a person who's like, yay, he's dead, but I would never do that. I, I didn't know him. I didn't know OJ. I didn't, wasn't, he didn't do anything to me personally. But I do understand if you're connected to him, how you feel about them? I get. I totally get it. We connect to them, so I, I get it. There are some bad people out there, and um, trouble's one thing. But there's, I he didn't help himself, which in the public eye. So I, you know, so I don't, you know, so I'm like, yeah. So I don't, but but I said, like I said earlier, when I when I came when I um. When I came on, it's like it's it's. Oh, I disagree with that. I disagree with that completely. I'll give you an example, Rook. My rapist, the guy who raped me, beat me up at knife point and left me for dead. When I found out he died, I celebrated it. How's that? In that case, yes, I celebrated it. So to me, and some deaths, yes, can be celebrated. I'm sorry, in my opinion. To say he was troubled was more than was more than that. So, but everybody needs to, like you said, each to, to each their own. No sympathy, you're not getting sympathy here on, on my end in, in this one at all. So uh, that's so that's so to me, yes. That's how that's how I feel about that. Um, right. He wrote a book, and I was, yeah, just there's, it's just there's a lot of stuff in there. But again, I said I have no connection to OJ, so I'm like, so I'm like, I'm telling you, sometimes there is. Yes, I did celebrate it. I'm not, I'm not gonna be like, oh, poor man, he was a man. He completely befriended me for a year, and then raped me and did that to me. So, no, no sympathy there at all. He, I, when I heard he died, I was very, very happy that he died. So I think in some cases, can't do, you can't do blanket statements like that. Death should never be celebrated. That's just not true. I'm sure council folks would, would agree with you, would agree with me on that. So, but I, that's uh, since you brought that up, that's my that's my response to to that statement. I'm sorry it happened to me too, but I had to forgive him to move on with my life, which I did. I ended up, I had to I had to go through 20 years of therapy to forgive him. Uh, to move on with my life, which I did, which I'm glad. I'm able to go on my life and I'll be able to have, you know, successful relationships and all kind of stuff. But it was, I went, I went through a very traumatic assault. So, and now, you know, so there you go. So that's, that's, that's how I feel about that.
But with OJ, I just I just know that, like I said, I didn't say rest in peace to him, but I didn't say anything really negative to him. I just think it's interesting. He's a polarizing figure. And he, I think he got away with it. I think he got away with murder. And he did. And I don't know if he feels remorse or not. I mean, only him and God will know that. Uh, but he never showed it in public. You know, so there you have it, kids. Uh, so, yes. Hi, Daisy Flower. I think you messaged me earlier. I was uh, coming on here. I was on here. I was coming on here. So, we've talked about a lot of stuff today on this show. We have talked about a lot. I mean, we talked about a lot of stuff on this show um, today. And there you have it. I mean, it's like we've covered everything from Gerard Carmichael and the race play stuff and the grind of sucking white men's toes to um, Amanda Seals to um, GH. And that's all that's happening over at GH. Uh, we've talked about, I mean, the Romeo and Juliet controversy. Now we talked about OJ. We have talked about a lot of stuff this morning in two hours. This is this, this is the stuff that I miss. I miss I miss this kind of stuff. I miss I am able to do this every day like I normally do. Um, uh, you're saying her name wrong, but yes, I do. I, I do have a connection to her. Why? Why do you ask, Tony JC? I'm hanging in there. We go. We're getting. We're getting there. We're gonna. Yes, I do. Why? What is your? What is your? What do you? What do you need to know? Uh, my uh, my appetite is off and on. And some days I'm super hungry, but I can't eat certain things. And some days I'm not as hungry. I'm not eating as much, I can tell. But I have to eat, obviously, to continue to make things go. Um, I don't want to get nasty on that one, but just I gotta keep things going. So I do do that. But I'm, we're hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. I don't complain. I'm not a complainer, so I don't complain. So I mean, I just I'm just a person that, you know, it's it's you know. Let's see double standard. Nobody was so messing up like this. Uh, okay. Um. Speaking of food, I miss your food polls. I know that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not back to normal with that either. I know. So it's like it's been like, oh, eat this, eat that, and then I haven't had any money to buy. I usually, I usually, it's usually what am I going to order? I don't know. Like I said, I have a negative three dollars in my account, so I might order nothing anytime soon. Um, I would eat just what's in, in what's nearby and what's easy for me. They said I can have dairy, which is so funny because they always say dairy's bad. Nope, dairy's good in this situation. They want all the the live elements inside, inside the inside your stomach. So I've had ice cream, which is my favorite. And yogurt and you know things like that. So that's been fine. I just remember good could good or bad, yes. Um <laughs> yeah, I'll keep that in a zoom, in a zoom near you, in a zoom near you, near you. Yes. But Tony, I met another lot, L O T T. His name is Duke. We met on LinkedIn, and we're doing a show together. So it's my first time doing a show with a person with my last name. I've never done a show in the 10 years I've been doing this. I've never done a show with another lot. I mean, I've done a show with my grandchildren. That's something different. But this person has my last name. I don't know if we're related. Um, but we're going we're gonna to see what's going on. And so I'm like, we're doing a show this Saturday. So I don't know. His name is Duke, and he seems like he's like he's busy doing stuff and very. Our talks will be very interesting. You're gonna find it very interesting. But I was I've only seen a little picture of him. I gotta see a bigger picture to see if we're related. Could be cousins. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. I think I, I think Tony J C and I are related. He looks like my people. 
I I would not be surprised if Tony J C and R and I are cousins of sorts. You look like you look like you look like my people on that side. I wouldn't be surprised. Would not be would not be surprised. Um. So uh, we'll find out. I would talk to him more. I would talk to him off camera. Um. He seems very friendly, like I am. We 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 get along great. So I'm gonna see what's going. I'm gonna see what's going on. And Tony, very few folks in my family, uh, in the in the entire world, it's usually bad. Except for Christian J. LeBlanc. We're 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 good. He's a good, he's a good cousin. We're good. And he's not a lot. He's from the other side of the family. Um We could, Chandra, we could be also. I mean, I, I, you know, here, so here's what's interesting for me, you guys, um, Tony and, and coach, um, my, my grandfather, I think my great grandfather each had several, had seven, had separate families, they had two families. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's a one family I grew up, one strain, we found there was a whole other strain. So that other strain could be you guys. Oh, I know. I mean, it could be part of you guys. So I don't know. And there were so many lot brothers out there that there were different. So I met a cousin who was from a lot girl. We were working together. And she's like, wait a minute, lot. He's like, lot. I'm like, lot. And it turned out that his mother was a lot. And then we looked at our family tree. We were totally related. We were totally cousins. So I've met cousins out and about in things. So I'm not surprised. I don't know everything, so we all we could be. I I would I wouldn't even I wouldn't mind it, of course, be laid to you and and to Tony J C. I wouldn't mind that. But I'm just saying, I have no I have no idea. I have no. I mean, that's it's all. My great grandmother's oldest brother and sister ran away from home. We never knew what happened to. Him. And there's also two. Also, and also remember, back in the day, people didn't talk. People did not talk. If something happened, they didn't talk about it. You know, and you're right. If someone left, you just didn't talk about it. They're gone. Out of sight, out of mind. You didn't talk about it. And that's what, and, and my family was still, to, to this day, <laughs> certain certain sides of the family, they don't talk. It is like, we don't, they do not talk. And it's just, it's just, you just, it's unsaid. So and it's not until now when I was ancest you know ancestry dot com and shit we're finding out oh so and so had a, there's another relative because I'm telling you I on ancestry because I just I found a, I found a half aunt and some cousins and it wasn't good so I stopped looking but I have a whole list of people that are saying are my second and third cousins and second and third that's close and that's not that's not that's not a joke second and third cousin that's right there. Second and third cousin. Okay, I that's no, I'm good. I don't know. That's that's too close for me. I have no idea. So I mean, they could be from anybody. But when I learned that my grandfather had two families, and I found this other section where they look like us, my cousin Stanley and all them. I'm like, you guys look, you guys, and, and Sylvester. My father, grandma's name was Sylvester. I was like, and there you go. It's also that too, Sandra. Because I come from a family of thirteen on one family, my grandmother was one of was one of fifteen. You know, it's like you know they're all. It's just it's like I feel bad for my kids and grandkids. I'm one of twelve of halves and holes and everything. So I mean, they they gonna be who knows what out there. They probably got cousins all over. We got we have, we have, my granddaughter. We had to make sure she wasn't dating somebody that was related to us because we're like that last name sounds familiar.
And so there you go, Sean. Dude. All kinds, right? All kinds. There you go. That have that, that's all. That's all. We you know that stuff happened back then. And just don't want to talk about it. You just want about your business. I to, I totally believe it. I would not be would not be surprised whatsoever. We're all around the same coloring. We all got these, we got these big faces. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't be surprised. But Tony and I have talked, and we, we think we have relatives in common. So I wouldn't. I just wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I'm surprised at all. Yeah, sometimes I'm dating. Oh, I know some. I know. Yeah, I know a few of that too. Um, yes, for a private Zoom, exactly. But anyway, so the point is, I wouldn't be surprised, and I would. I would welcome. I mean, I'd welcome it. Sure, I don't mind. I don't mind you guys. The other folks, I'm like, now nah, I'm good. But I don't mind you guys being related to me. You know, and and people's movements. The diaspora, all that. People, this person leaves here and goes that direction. I mean, I have family in there in Oklahoma. I didn't know about family in Minnesota. I didn't know about. I'm finding. I'm finding all kinds of stuff out. People move. People move around. One person. And that's funny because I have two uncles who married sisters. So the two uncles and two aunts are all related. And so I had to tell people, um, I'm not related to you. I'm related to their side of family over here, but now you're my cousin's cousin. And you guys are all interrelated on both sides. I want to relate to one side. So I had to tell them that. I'm like, yeah, we're, not, we're not cousins. Hi, cousin. We're not cousins. I'm over here. I don't want anyone. I'm, you're not my cousin. My cousin's this one over here. So there's that. There's that. There's that also. But there's two brothers married two sisters. I feel that's, I feel that's what it is, Tony. I'm just afraid to go back into Ancestry.com and try to figure that out. I mean, I just, I just, ugh. Kind of scary, but I think I think we are. I think we are, Tony. I think we are. I think we actually are. It is again not a common name. The the place, the the part of the country, all of that. I just I wouldn't be. I would not be surprised. Would not be. Would would not be. But you, but Tony, you look like members of my family of that side of family. I have I have some cousins that I put you up against them. I'm like, you guys look related. So as I'm saying, you must you must we must be related somehow. Cause I'm like, just the genetics are just it just the, the look is too is too there. Right, exactly. That was that was kind of funny. My my daughter and I were like, okay, let's see, what's their name? Where are they from? What blah, blah blah. You know, we had to do the whole thing, and then we realized they weren't we weren't related. Um, to our best of our, our knowledge, and they didn't they, they, they didn't last anyway. But it is a kind of funny thing. Yeah. Why is you Tony? That's you Tony before Tony. Yeah. So if I'm related to. Their father, yes, I, I, I had heard. I think I am. That's what I had heard, but I, you know, I haven't, I haven't fully investigated or synced that up. So I just had, I just had a horrible experience. So I don't know. I mean, there you go. I mean, who knows? Because I'm old now. I don't care about new relatives. I'm old. I don't have any relatives. I'm like, I got enough. I don't even talk to the relatives I have. Good. I really, I really don't. I, don't I, I talk to very few of my relatives. I just, I just don't. I, I, I know. Who are your people? I know exactly. Um, I don't talk to anybody. I don't talk to, I don't talk to half my family on either side. I talk to a select few on a select occasions. And that's it. And my life has been wonderful. I'm telling you, I have no drama with anybody in my family on either side. Uh, I'm not involved in anything crazy. Um, I my my life is when it comes to that is smooth. 
So I don't know. So I mean, to me, it's been great. It has been a godsend. So I don't know. Who are your people? Who that is? That's just my baby daddy. Who that's just my baby daddy? Who that is? Just my baby daddy. Who that is? Just my baby daddy. I know. I have other family stories I can't tell on here. So yes, in another Zoom sometime, I can share some other stuff. But uh, yeah, certainly I'm not going to tell out to the world. I don't want to get in trouble. Well, yeah, I talk to my family, so and I'm okay with it. At first it hurt, but I'm okay with it now at this point. I've moved on. I have moved. I have moved on. You have to do what's best for you and for your sanity. Plus, people will show you who they are, so I know who people are. Everything's life, Tony JC. It's all life. The thing is, you just, you, people do show you who they are. People do show you. And I've just, I've learned to look. I've learned to look. They show you who you are. But he wasn't a lot. Well, could it be related to me on another side of the family? I mean, I mean that'd funny. Then would that be funny, Tony, if it's not the lot side, it's another side of my family? Because I mean, I come from well, I got four different grandparents, then their then their parents. We could be uh, we could be related in some other way. What what are some of your last names? I can tell you some of the last names that I know for sure. I don't know, it could be I mean, I come from four sets of people. So it's about you know, so to speak, eight of people. But we could be really distant cousins just from another another side. Isn't that funny? It could be, right? It could be something totally different. If you think about anybody, we all come from our parents who come from four sides of people, uh, each of their parents. Do we come from six sides? Do we come from, like, there's all kinds of sides. I, I have relatives. I have a cousin. He is... His grandfather and my grandfather were first cousins. So that makes us cousins of some once you three or five times removed, whatever. We're around the same age, my cousin uh Steven. And we got along great, but we're like he's but we are related because because my 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 grandfather, his grandfather were first cousins. They literally they came from the same, so we have the same great great grandfather. That or something like that. It was my it was like my great my grand my grandfather. And his my great grandfather his grandfather, something like that. But like we have we have there's a person in common at the top, but it comes down. But he's way over there. He's a cousin and he's on that. And I'm a cousin from this side. So we're like we're not near each other. So we didn't grow up together or anything. But I heard the last name. Last name was LeBroy. And I heard the last name LeBroy. That was part of our family. And we got we got along great. We met up and got along great. We we had a lot in common and so it was kind of like, oh, okay. Oh, that I don't know, it's Chandra. I don't. I don't know. I could. I have no idea. I don't. I don't. I don't have any relatives I talk to from Alabama. Most of the only relatives that I know about are Louisiana, Texas. I don't. But that doesn't mean there's not anybody in Alabama. I know. I, I heard I had some relatives in Georgia. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that I don't. I don't know. I have no idea. But like I was saying they could have moved around. One could go this way, and one could have went that way, and I just don't talk to them. Then a lot of my family also is in the Midwest. I mean, tons of Ohio, Indiana, um, Kansas. I mean, they're they're all through the Midwest. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, they're all they're all Midwest. Uh, Missouri, Nebraska. So again, it depends on where they migrated. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. But those two cities, I mean, they don't mean anything to me. I don't know anything. 
But it could be. I mean, I don't, like I said, again, this cousin I met, he was in D.C. I know I have family in D.C. That's what I'm saying. And, and, but, 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 but think about it, Chandra. They're all next, those states are all next to each other. So why wouldn't they go from Alabama to Georgia? It's right there. So I, but I have relatives in Georgia. I know that for sure. Um, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. Could be. Well, it's funny as those relatives from Georgia, though, from my mother's side of the family. So we could be related to Benita. We related to Miss Benita. So that's what I'm saying. Oh, I had to, um, to, um, to, um, most of my family that I talk to is in Ohio and Indiana, uh, in Gary and Terre Haute and all that. I, all my, all up and through, up and through. If you heard the last name Strainer, that's a huge part of my family there, especially in Indiana. A lot of Strainers or Truitts, a lot of Truitts. That's a married name, but that's but my cousins are from Truitts and Strainers. Lots of Strainers or Lewis. Lots of Lewis, another married name, but lots of Lewises. There were the mothers, there was, there was three sisters. No, it was four sisters and a, and a, and a boy. And the, the sisters all made, they all, they all stayed back there. But yeah, Terre Haute and Gary, they're all up and they're all up and through there. I have a beautiful cousin named Shayla I talk to all the time. She's beautiful. So I talk to a few of them, but they're all they're all there. Yeah, Gary, oh yeah, Gary and Anna. Oh yeah. They're all they're all up and, all up and through there. I said last names are Strader, Lewis, Truett. Those are their last names. And they're all my they're all my second and third and fourth cousins. That's what I'm saying. That's the two brothers who married two sisters. But then one brother came to L.A., Uncle Bill. Uncle Conrad stayed there. Well, Uncle Conrad was in prison, too, but that's another story. But they but they separated. But there was one brother and sister and one brother and sister. They went that way. And well, I'm going to stay in the Midwest. I love the Midwest, so, I mean, I love it. So, I love Indiana. I'm telling, I'm telling you, I, I, I got family everywhere to spout. But these are the ones I know for sure. For sure. For sure. Okay, half hour left. I've been on over two hours. Half hour left. If anybody wants to donate anything, I'm, I'm negative a dollar in my account now. I, I just transferred. I had a dollar in, in my Venmo I put over there. Anyone give any any amount? Want to help me today? You can. Pay, uh, PayPal, Zelle, Venmo, and Cash App. I'll take all those. I'm very, I'm very aware, Chandra. The, the thing is, I just don't look into it because... I don't really talk to them. I don't really talk to anybody. But I mean, many of, them, many of those relatives are nice. I just don't talk to them enough. A lot of Facebook, Snapchat. I've met a few of them in person. They were great. But a lot, of, I talked to some of them online on Instagram. But I don't really talk to them a lot. We don't, we don't do a lot of talk. Well, you know, but we do some talk. I mean, they don't do anything to me. So, well, a couple have, but almost don't do anything to me. So, but yeah, my family's all over the place. I mean, I'm a first generation Los Angelian, California. We are, my family's not, my family's not from California. Both sides of my family migrated. My mother and my father both came to California in their teen years with their families. Um, and that's why they're here. And when they, and when they, when they come here, they came here, they met in high school, my parents. My father was best friends with my mother's brother. They were the same grade. My mother's little sister. That's how they met. But my father's not from here. My mother's not from here. So it's kind of like, I'm a Californian just because they happen to come. Because each of their mothers left my, gra my grandfather's. And came, a very interesting story. Both my grandmothers left their husbands, came to California with, the, with their kids. And this is why I'm Californian. I could have been born anywhere. Else. I mean, I wasn't. I shouldn't be here. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I was never. I that was that was, that was they, my family is not from California, and so that's why a lot of folks will say your attitude, your your essence, is a feeling like Cal like Los Angeles or California because I grew up with very other, you know, and I was always traveling outside of Los Angeles, growing up to see my family. I was very close to my family, um, so I get that all the time, and so. That's the whole thing. It's kind of like just very much. I I'm, I'm a first generation. My we're first generation Californians. 
and that's funny. Um, I mean, I, mean, that, I, mean, I have people I know who, who are like 50, 60 years in California. They were here when it was Spain. And I maybe Spain it was Mexico or whatever. Spain was only it. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm a, I am a, I am barely, I'm first generation. I know. I know something, something new. And I, and I love California. I do. I live in other places. I like California. Yeah, let's see. Thank you, Tony. Tony just gave. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony, for donating. Thank you very much. That actually helped. Now it helps my negative balance. Now I'm back. I'm now I'm right again. <laughs> I love it. Now I'm right again. I love it. Thank you. Perfect. My first cousin, my mother's first cousin left gave me to California on what is it, Lemon Grove? Lemon Grove. I think where that is. It sounds familiar. It's a lemon. I think it's Orange County, Lemon Grove. There's Pacific Grove, which is Northern California. I'm saying Lemon Grove, but it's not, it's not, it's not bringing up. But uh, California is huge, so uh, there's, a, there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, cities I didn't I never heard of. A lot of them, I never heard of before. Um, but it does sound familiar. Lemon Grove, Lemon Grove. Well, you know who else left Gary, Indiana? The Jackson Five. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. You know, I had to. That sounds like Orange County. I think it's south of me. Well, you're not miss, you ain't missing anything in Orange County. Well, you ain't missing anything down there. I don't go there very often, trust me. So I have sirens. You know what I'm about? Captain Jack? Well, there you go. When this high school at Catherine, I'm not surprised. I was answering, sorry, answering an email. Do we do we do? Ah. 
There's Jacarius. Jacarius, how are you? I can't, I've been off for two hours. Yeah, now, see, now I'm starting to get tired. I can feel it. Now I'm starting to get a little tired. I may not, I may not make it to 12 o'clock. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm already like, I'm starting to feel it already. I know I've been off for like a week. So, yes, I've been recovering. So that's not how I've been doing. I've been recovering and trying to get better for you guys and resting when I need to rest. Um, exercise when I need to exercise. I'm trying to, I have to walk every day a little bit. So I'm doing that. My garden is beautiful outside. So I'm excited to go out there and have me a nice something, something, something. Get some sun. We get some sun after this. We're excited. Thank you. I know I miss being on here. We've had a conversation this morning. We've had some real conversations this morning. We talked about a lot of topics. A lot of topics. So it's like it's I'll, I I like that. I like this. It got serious for a little bit there, or whatever. But it's like it's I like it. It gets me. It it, it makes me feel alive. I like this. The bush is lush and flourishing. That's right, kids. Let's see here in, here in LA. Yes. My big bush. Actually, it is. Um, so, yes. So, uh, I do miss coming on here in the mornings and talking to you guys. Tomorrow morning, I have an, an eye appointment at 8.20 in the morning. So, I need this eye appointment. So, I'm going to be going. To, I'm going to do that. Oh, all right. I think I'm gonna get off now. I, just, I don't think I can hold on. I'm gonna go outside and sit down, get some vitamin, something from the sun. But thank you, everybody. This morning we ha we talked about a lot. We didn't solve the world's problems, but we did discuss them. Uh, everybody, thank you so much. This was so much fun. I needed this. Don't know when I'll come back on again. Who knows when that's gonna be. But, um, and YouTube's not helping any. They're not even telling you guys anything. So I'm glad who came on this morning, came on this morning. And whoever's watching later, hi, you guys, or listening later, hello. I appreciate you. I'm going to go off. I love you guys. Have a good Thursday, whatever it is you just choose to do.